this all the time. No, I listen. You we're, guys we're have goofs. fun. We're goofs. Dude, our chemistry is electric. I know. Yeah. If we could bottle it. But then we would still give it away. <laughs> Robbie, do you do you remember I forget who somebody said somebody described our dynamic to us the other night. They said I forget who it was that was telling us, but they said everybody loves me. They like Joe. And what? I don't remember this. Oh, Uh-oh. They and say? they really love you. No, what they say? They said everybody loves me. Everybody likes Joe, and everybody <sighs> hates me. Why would you bring this up right before we record? <laughs> <laughs> dude, I'm fucking with you, dude. I'm messing with you. Well, apparently Zach Amico said on his podcast, uh, he he said, "Hey, listen to Loud Boys. Dalton's so good, he makes Robbie Goodwin listenable." And I'm like, God, and I I spiral, Robbie. Man. We all, yeah. I love you, dude. Did someone actually say that, though? No, I'm joking. Okay. I'm fucking with you. Yeah. yeah. Hey, we got a guest here today. <laughs> yeah. Welcome to Loud everybody. Boys, everybody. Yeah, what's, what's up, America? Yeah. Uh, fresh from the the city by the bay. The windy city, I call it. Uh, <laughs> San Francisco, California. Yeah. Uh, the Lone Star State. Uh, Kasim Bentley is here. <laughs> Welcome. Wow. Kasim Welcome, sir. Bentley. Wow. wow. Esteemed guest. From, from, <laughs> from Esteemed the, Bentley. Hey. Esteemed Bentley. <laughs> hey. <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait. See, like, oh, you're the secret weapon. <laughs> yes. Yeah, you're the you're the lady of the groove, right? That's so like, true. yeah, it's like you're the secret one. You're like the Robin Quivers, this shit, right? So yeah. Absolutely, the yeah. Robin yes. Quivers. I'm Robin. Yeah, oh, I, I oh, listen Robin and Quivers. I watch. You're much cuter, like a like a baby. Yes, exactly. I have a very soft, like baby like face. He's got a little punum. Yeah. yeah, he's the child. It's yes. interesting that you should you should be on a painting. <laughs> yeah, this F- I, I, painting. I am a Renaissance painting, like a I'm, cherub. I'm, yeah. Yes, a beautiful, a cherub. racist yeah. cherub. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> just like just sitting there, just hoping the vote election goes your way. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Please, what Trump win? <laughs> <laughs> that would have been a great man in the street where you just walked around, just like, please let him go. Google Chinaman. <laughs> yeah. I am. A- this is a great bit. The racist baby. Let's get Lauren Michaels on it's the horn. <laughs> Ryan Long is just across the street, like, oh! <laughs> Wait, yeah. a baby that's racist? That's brilliant. <laughs> This is turned like the Warriors, you know, running around. I'm podcast a, gangs. Right, but how do we make this about bloggers? <laughs> <laughs> how do we make it about how both sides are the same? <laughs> yeah, I was just going to. I'm Friend a, of the show, Ryan Long. I'm a, ra- I'm a racist cherub, so I fly around shooting actual arrows at black people. <laughs> <laughs> you're some dude walking in front of Jimmy Jazz. Yeah. <laughs> and you're like, ah, damn. You're, yeah, you're like, Valentine's Day, not Black History Month. <laughs> 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 you can't take our thing. <laughs> <laughs> I guess you have to skip a day this month. Right yeah, there. That is funny that during uh, Black History Month, women are like, okay, but we get a day too. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. Here comes Bill Burr. Oh, no. No, I'm serious. No, white women. <laughs> no, you're fucking out there. You think you're something, but you're not. <laughs> I always thought he's so funny because I want to go see him at Davies, uh, Davies Orchestra and imagine, like, you do a great Bill Burr. Oh, thanks. So, Bill Burr, I guess it was like, wow, Bill Burr having sex with that voice. Yeah. Ah, oh, no, I'm close. No, I'm fucking serious. I'm about to come. No, Bill Burr having sex with his black wife. Guess on that. Guess like, because when you watch black, white, and white guys fucking black women, there are a lot yeah. of them don't ever talk shit. There's a Never. couple dudes who are known for that. They get to be brave and grab their hair and just knowing where to grab it. Right. You know what I'm saying? Because like, you can't go too far to the root. You yeah. know what I mean? So, Bill Burr gets thing gets with his black wife. It's got to be intense. Oh, my God. Oh, yeah. Sweaty. Borderline violent. Do you think he does the thing? But with consent. The most erotic. <laughs> the of Joe Gorman story. <laughs> <laughs> Borderline consent. It's like, it's like a male Lifetime movie. Yeah. Borderline, Borderline consent. consent. <laughs> <laughs> you can sit there twirling your mustache. It's like To Kill a Mockingbird, but as because Fitch is like, Your Honor, Joe Gorman had borderline consent. <laughs> <laughs> He's an old Southern lawyer. He's coming in. Oh, see you here. See you here. 12 angry he bought her those drinks. <laughs> 12 Angry Rapists. The other name for our podcast. <laughs> well, <man. laughs> oh. 12 Years of the Rapids. <laughs> oh, <here's> the, rapids. <laughs> the Brian, the Brian Callen story. 
<laughs> Your Honor, I only did it for 12 years. <laughs> well, now, she did not say no, and we all know that women have a biological desire. <laughs> Your Honor, what is he, the big bad rapist? <laughs> I, I rest my case. Look, I'm suit, walking around a white suit. You know? I'm just a, <laughs> look here, look here. I'm just a simple country rapist. I, I might just be a simple country comedy store. <laughs> <laughs> I feel so bad because now he's on Patreon. Why? Well, uh, oh, I'm, dude, for I'm money. Ta- I'm, yeah, yeah, it's uh, unfortunate, huh? It's, what raping a woman will do. <laughs> 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 now he has to beg for money because it's like, I'm sorry, we can't trust you to not rape a woman. If, so. Well, if he doesn't have Patreon, all he'll have is his CIA dad funding him. So oh, that's you true. know. Wait, what? No, his yeah. dad's a private banker. I thought he was like in the CIA or something. Yeah, we know what you mean, dude. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so it's eighty percent of Hollywood. <laughs> His dad's in the CIA. That's what I heard. I read. He's, he's, I read that. It's yeah. so weird to see how many guys, which white guys, like white guys. It's every white guy that's like, made it. They have a, a wealthy family. Back well, I was looking you, at, you don't have a wealthy. I do. You're my, Korean though, right? You're Korean. No, white. I am not. No, are I'm, you no. back on that? Are what? you back on hiding your? No, race? I'm Japanese. Oh, yeah. well, you know, I mean, it's it's much more noble than Korean. Are you fucking kidding yeah, me? Yeah, Japanese. Really? Yeah, dirty, dirty knees. knees. Look at these. Japanese. Robbie, you're like, <laughs> like a qu- like racist improv. <laughs> yes, that would be so really like like. Uh, give me need- give me a word, and the black guy goes, "Hey, not you!" Right? <laughs> <laughs> just like, mm. That was basically what Robin Williams did. All right, give me a th- give me something a black guy would say. Oh, Mama Sita. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, he rest and that in black peace. guy's name w- was improv. <laughs> M apostrophe <laughs> pro. <Yeah. laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm this improv is- the comedian. Oh. <laughs> uh- <laughs> this <laughs> Facebook request from improv the comedian. Improv the comedian. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> that I'm just okay. Okay, I gotta, I gotta get my mind around this. But, is, this is better than I thought it was. Gonna be. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> dude, this we're firing good. on all cylinders tonight. This is dude. great, dude. This is like this is like doing a podcast inside of a like a four loco. Or something. Yeah, you know yeah like, man. Like, this is wild. It's all good vibes, dude. This is wild, dog. When I got dropped off here, I was like, "Does Robbie live in the projects? Like, what is no? no it's like quite the opposite. It's the white projects. Yeah. <laughs> it's the, the suburbs." It's a, it's we call it a group project. <laughs> <laughs> it's a we work. You know what I mean? <laughs> it's a, it's a song. It it's does a, have a project you like out. I mean, I, until the Indian guys walked out, I was like, all right, this place is a fish. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Robbie yeah. actually receives it, uh, every two weeks the uh, the white version of a welfare check, also known as a paycheck. <laughs> 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 this is uh, dude, I'm canceled in the black community. This is not. I did this and Cone Town. I'm not like I know, dude. I'm not gonna say Farrakhan's a rapist. You know what I mean? <laughs> Adam, Adam, just say it. Just say it. Just say it. It's bean pie and a pussy. You know what I, mean? I know it. This is this is great, man. Uh, but we we are we, we actually yeah. are five percenters. <laughs> Five percent milk. Yeah. <laughs> two percenters. We're two percenters. Yeah, yeah we're two percenters, dude. Like, you want to be we're black, so you're lactose intolerant. Yeah. <laughs> I'm actually a two percenter. Oh, it's fuck. a faction. There was a there's a great uh, book I always wanted to pitch where there was a white guy who was in the nation of Islam. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. That came in the nineties. It was like he was just like it was like a Sean King situation. Oh shit. Oh. Was it like Jim Carrey? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? 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 Well, no, are you on ketamine? What's a on? Are you bit. on drugs? <laughs> are you bit. on? Wait, what's going on? This was, this was so. Wait, it's hard to. Because uh, you know what it is? It's the mustache. Yeah. And you don't blink. So I don't. <laughs> I've so reinvented I very, myself. No, you have not. Yeah. This is like Joe, an all new me. Joe, you. No, you look like you manage a failing Chuck E. Cheese. <laughs> 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 like, so, like, so, 
No, it's not. We got to unload all these mice. <laughs> <laughs> like, he gets has this idea. A kid gets a mouse. You know what I mean? He's running around. Only the poor kids know what to do. You know what I mean? It Doesn't is have... funny how ambitious Joe is considering, like, everything else about him. You know what I mean? Like, Joe's, like, very driven. Yeah. And, like, he moved out to New York, which is more than we can say for most of the people we knew, you know? Yeah. Uh, and, like, actually moved out here and, like, did it, like, doing stand-up and stuff. But it feels like Joe... Is man is managing a failing Chuck E. Cheese, as you yeah. said, like in a different life, you know, but in a way, in a but different in a different world. Yeah, like a West world. Well, like, like if like I, fl- I flipped wood. the coin and I said heads, I I move to New York. Yeah. Tails, I manage a Chuck E. Cheese. <laughs> And look at this, dude. All the Chuck E. Cheese shut down. <laughs> you know? And the mics are stronger yeah, than ever. Yeah, strong. comedy's stronger than ever, man. <laughs> Wait, Joe, is that, you do live in Harlem. You, do you manage the Harlem Chuck E. Cheese? That Harlem Chuck E. Cheese <laughs> shut down. It was a block from my house. Yeah. It's really? gone, dude. It's gone? They, they, were trying to to sell, the they were trying to sell. Yeah. They should have changed the name to Chuck D. Cheese. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the one I go to is called Charles E. Cheese. <laughs> Wait, a Chuck E. Cheese shut down in Harlem? Yeah. You know what? They were trying to sell Chuck pizzas. E. Cheese, yeah, for it's like, not a black friendly place. Why not? I used okay, when I was living in when I was in LA, uh, there was a point where I had to take like after the shows ended, I had to, I was working in this this mall and it was next to a, and I worked in a Santa booth for like a couple weeks, like a month, next to a Chuck E. Cheese. I never really been I never been in Chuck E. Cheese. I had, you had to go to they let us go to the bathroom. So I'd walk in there, I guess the chance to walk around and I just don't think like, like black people, we have enough. Like we already have it. We struggle so. Much. Is it the loud noises? I mean, you know, I mean, <laughs> it is partially because <laughs> they show movies. They showed movies. It's like simulating, right? Yeah. And you're like, what, what's movies. going on? You know, it makes you angry. <laughs> I mean, it's it's shitty because what I noticed was the Chuck E. Cheese, the guy that was dressed as Chuck E. Cheese, wouldn't engage with black people. Oh, interesting. So he was just like, hey, hey. And it's like, you know, and, and you go there. But there's a part of the time when you, like, you go to certain, f- I wouldn't call it fast food. It was just like, it was a, it was a play. What is Chuck E. Cheese? What is it? Like a, it was like a tenor- t- entertainment chain restaurant. It's like an arcade. Yeah. It's like it's, if McDonald's, yeah, it's like, it's like Dave and Buster's for kids kind of, right? I mean, like, yeah. it was like before Dave and Buster's, Dave and Buster's is a Chuck E. Cheese for adults. It's just like an old school, because there's, there's like tons of arcades like yeah. that. Like right. back in Texas, we had Mr. Gaddy's. Didn't you guys have Wait, a show Mr. Pizza? Daddy's or Gaddy's? Gaddy's. G A T T I apostrophe S. Mr. Gaddy's. And that it's sounds like this, awesome. Sounds honestly, I always liked Mr. Gaddy's more than that. Chuck sounds like just like the Italian mob boss. I feel like hey, yeah, we ain't like, we ain't needing no mouse place. Yeah. We're going to Mr. Gaddy. <laughs> Mr. Gaddy's requests your attendance. Yeah. <laughs> I, I want to sit down with the rat. <laughs> I want to sit down. We ain't going to no rat. <laughs> <laughs> we ain't eating with no rat. <laughs> I just saw a Chuck E. Cheese on my turf. Uh, I want to sit down with the rat. Oh, man, that was right there. How did I miss that? <laughs> I feel like you won something big at Mr. Gaddy's. Oh, uh, no, they just have better pizza. <laughs> They'll soon be Yo, no, the pizza, now that was, the only thing about the Chuck E. Cheese is what it, they, they give you a lot for that buffet. Yeah. Like you can just eat an endless amount of pizza for like under 10 bucks. My, yeah. my mom never let me go because she was always like, the kids pee in the ball pit. I never liked That's it. That's an old wives tale. I, what? Yeah. In yeah, the ball pit? Yeah, apparently adults pee in the, ba- oh, the ball what? pit. What? No. no. <laughs> I don't know. I would go in the ball pit. I wasn't afraid of that shit. No, you you seem... That's why I don't have COVID now, dude, because I had like all this You got something pee. else. Nah, dude. Dude, it's crazy you, to think about ball pits now, though, as an adult, because you're like, what a fucking cesspit, dude. Just like... Yeah, a, my mom yeah, was right. A pit of balls with kids just... Yeah, because there's no ball <laughs> washer like, at yeah, night. There's yeah. no guy... That's Sounds like Kevin Spacey's Friday night. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> Take Damn. that, Kevin. Do you think he can make a comeback? No. Absolutely. Yeah, I do. I do. Yeah. What I mean, the co- way the co- way society is going with yeah. acceptance, it won't be long until like <laughs> no. okay, wait. the age of consent is like you, fourteen. Uh, pedophile, there's no coming back. Oh, dude, believe you me. can be a rapist. I hope. No. I'm <laughs> <laughs> No, but I saw Jeremy Piven's doing a movie, so he's fine. Well, like, and then yeah. like, and wasn't like a majority of like Kate, uh, Kevin Spacey's accusers they died mysteriously. Well, he just released those. Cr- yeah, 
in those creepy mm. videos, they'll let me be like he's like every Christmas he comes out with a video where he's like I'm still alive. I honestly don't think he'll be able. To but he does it as back. like no, uh, of course not. Uh, he does as Frank Underwood too. Because here's the thing, Kevin Spacey wasn't really. Yeah. Good. He was good. He was like a great actor, but like actors aren't good at making things themselves. And I feel like to come back, you have to like if you're that fucking canceled, you have to be like Louie and be able to like produce something. We'll see own. because look at Mel Gibson. We thought he was done for. But Mel Gibson's like insanely talented. He knows how to like. So he, is Kevin, Kevin Spacey. Spacey. Yeah. No, but I think Mel, Kevin but Mel Gibson. Is more talented. Mel Gibson can write and direct. That's how he came back. So was can he, Kevin Spacey. No, he can't. But do we forgive actors, like qualified actors, as we, as how we as we define them over movie stars? Because you think of a movie star, it's a reckless life, or the idea that you're so famous you should know better. Because sometimes when you see somebody as an actor, like uh, Kevin Spacey, I, I think that the, the weirdest defenses have been like, well... You know, we don't really know how old that boy was. You know what I mean? Or he could mm-hmm. be oh, like R. Kelly. Yeah. Did you like, ever, how old that is documentary? 15, really? Honestly, like, honestly, <laughs> that, that R. Kelly thing. Yeah. I think those women were lying. <laughs> now, I'm going to. No, no, no. Let's freeze this for a minute. <laughs> let's freeze this. Now, I'm, what I'm going to do is now you've just. Now, you don't know this. You've just got your black Willy Wonka pass mm-hmm. into the hotel. Kingdom. <laughs> <laughs> so I want to make sure that Tariq Elite and all the and Matt and all these Africa Africa John, all you his name is Joe Gorman. <laughs> <laughs> Joe Gorman. And you send email to what's your email? Jay Gorman oh, at uh, gmail.com. Yeah, loud loud boys at gmail.com. Loud boys, which isn't <laughs> boys to be pod. confused with the trap group out of Atlanta. <laughs> <laughs> Send it to Joe Gorman. Yeah. He is invited to the meetings. He will bring pound cake. I feel like that's something you could buy <laughs> and not fuck up. You know yeah. what I'm saying? And he, he has said that R. Kelly did not. What? He, he didn't do anything wrong. <laughs> <laughs> Freeze that and, and make that the meme and put a hotel crown on him. Because this is a white black king right now. You know what I'm saying? You have basically exonerated R. Kelly. He's out of jail probably right now. Yeah, right? don't worry, dude. My dad's a lawyer. We'll get it all. We'll get this whole confusion what if your dad did <laughs> what if your dad did My dedicate dad, yeah <laughs> I, just, like, I call in a favor hey brian can you uh help me out here it's like his <laughs> philadelphia yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> just like, i know he didn't do it you know he's, he's still racist yeah. he's still racist yeah. but he gets them off <laughs> your dad yeah. gets confused like my 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 client is gay there's nothing <laughs> wrong with that <laughs> r kelly just walked in looking like tom hanks yeah. right? <laughs> like it's like a 30 rock scene or something he's like uh <laughs> <laughs> you know, that girl has something, you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> Who will get out sooner, Bill Cosby or R. Kelly? R. Kelly. R. Kelly for sure. Cosby's going to die in prison, and then he's going to be exonerated because then he'll be martyred. They're like, they let this poor black man die in prison. Yeah. He didn't do anything wrong, and like the media framed him because he had the money to buy NBC. Oh, no, they said he's working out. That'd be funny. Oh, oh, my God. I'm, I'm, getting, I'm jacked. getting jacked. <laughs> <laughs> I'm swole. <laughs> he's, just, he's just in the yard. Tell that nigga I said I do three more reps. <laughs> and I, if he won, I'll fuck that nigga. He can sit there and get bad taps. <laughs> yeah. Got Philadelphia on his back. You know what I mean? Oh he changed, he became Muslim. Say something. <laughs> just say something. <laughs> <laughs> in the shower, he's like with sharpened pudding pops. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you see? Is. You see? <laughs> Dog. <laughs> <laughs> he's slitting someone's throat. And there's like Imagine j- jazz sucking music playing. Bill Cosby's dick in prison like it's in like oh, the, I in can the only night. Everyone was lining up to do that. Are you <laughs> yeah. kidding me? Mr. Cosby, so I ain't things. gay. <laughs> but but, but we, I love just, episodes. I owe you so much. Do you think he's the king in there? Do you think they're like Absolutely. super stoked? Dude, no one's, no one's going to be dude, like. I always, uh, not a lot of people know about this, but I always share this whenever Cosby's in the news. Years and years ago, Mad TV, when when Oz was on, Mad TV did a sketch about Bill Cosby in prison called Cause, <laughs> and it's Aaron oh my Spears God. as Bill Cosby literally doing what y'all are describing, like well, raping. I, people. Wait, like Oz but Cause? It's called Cause. It's a Mad TV sketch with Aerie Spears as Bill Cosby, <laughs> and it's just Bill Cosby like becoming a like a member of like a Muslim Brotherhood and oh, awesome. yeah, raping yeah. people in prison. Well, in college, wait, he was. Ra- it, well, in college, yeah. I, I, I made a fake show where it was just called Bill Cosby Headlines, like my local stand-up show or whatever. 
And then I posted on Facebook the next day. I was like, it was a great show except for Cosby, who was actually extremely filthy and racist and like a, like a mean guy. Like as a joke, you and know what would have been funny? Because it's always like the joke always like because he seemed like such a nice guy that it's like oh let's put it let's make let's pretend he's like a dark evil man right. and then turned out like you know like that uh, Bill Cosby Bukowski from that yeah um, <laughs> yeah that, what what, what uh, John that? Daly that's it that's yeah it. okay here's a character Bill Burr Cosby <laughs> Bill Burr Cosby. <laughs> these white women are complaining too much <laughs> they're coming and I love Boston sports <laughs> <laughs> go like, Red Sox. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone's just confused, yeah, yeah. but she wants to yeah. go treat. You know what I mean? Yeah, so yeah, yeah. There. Bill Burr's mm. a lot of his material is not that different from Cos. It's like Cosby's. Kind of, it, it's a lot of like similar like men versus women stuff. Like, yeah, yeah. Spanish. Oh, my wife saw my fly ass. Bit is crazy. That yeah, was incriminating. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yikes. That was crazy. All it, yeah. How was that ever in a stand-up set? Everyone's like laughing because it, it was the seventies, man. Yeah, yeah, dude. I guess it was like right <laughs> after the sexual revolution, yeah. so people were just like, "That was rape's cool." Seven. <laughs> Cons- like like the, right after the sexual revolution and before the feminist wave, there was like ten years of just wild west sexual activity. Yeah, consent wasn't discovered until I, like ninety three. Re- they're going after this French author who in the seventies like published a bunch of books, whereas oh, all the books were like, "Ah fuck it, they are all the boys, and no one can <laughs> stop me." And that like he published like five or six books just about how he uh, being an open pedophile and loving it. Yeah, and everyone was like, <laughs> "He's a genius." <laughs> like he was like exalted. And Damn. it was only in the last like three years that they're like trying to arrest him. He's like he's on he's on the run and he's on the lamb in like Italy or something. He's more like he's he's on the lamb and in a boy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Wait, but here's the thing. Now the great comedian they say great comedians can predict the future. Mm. You are this is a uh, this is the, this is basically uh, New York's McLaughlin group of comics. <laughs> 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 so you know, right. you know, next question, right? Yeah. <laughs> uh, if we had to predict, who do you think will be the next sexual predator? Two, there'll be two. One in comedy, mm-hmm. and one gets in outside of general entertainment. Who would you, would you, if you had to put Vegas odds? Harvey Weinstein and <laughs> no, <I'm laughs> what if, what if Robbie's default he didn't know news from a year yeah, ago. Yeah, I know. Like, yeah, my favorite oh, producer, Harvey, Harvey Weinstein. Weinstein. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see, right. in comedy, right? And you're just and you hopefully people who hear this who's my not, guess? You won't fuck. Yeah, if you just had to put it out there because this is okay. a culture I have with plenty. Oh, of if we're just guessing, yeah, just and like we don't there. maybe maybe we don't have any inside information. My impulse is like a like a Hari Kondabolu or someone like super woke. Really? I'm honestly. Really? I'm yeah. gonna say Jim Gaffigan. Honestly. Oh, I heard Ooh. I already cheats on his wife. Honestly. I'm beyond the rape. Allegedly. I mean, allegedly. Yeah. I'm gonna say Jim Gaffigan. He put yeah. a hot pocket in my p- <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> yeah. A hot, did, hot pocket pussy. <laughs> yeah, Jim Jim Gaffigan You've and uh just general entertainment. Yeah. <sighs> man. Now man or woman, gay or straight, doesn't you know you could go out the box. Alright. I'm I'm gonna say I'm trying to think. Cause How great would it be if Pete Holmes went down? How funny would that be? That would be funny. Did yeah. I really get caught raping? <laughs> <laughs> How am I not in handcuffs right now? <laughs> Wait, that deserves a lot more. That yeah. deserves way Thank more. Thank you, Kasim. <laughs> it's not because the biggest thing about Pete Holmes, he will say that he's a jerk to comedians or Postmates uh, drivers in LA. I've heard that. I, a lot yeah, of LA he people seems say like he's a dick. I've heard, yeah, I've heard, people say he's like mean to like lower level comics, that but, but like really nice to everyone who's like above him or on his mm, level or whatever. Yeah. I met him once and he was really nice. But I think you just thought I was a fan. He was really yeah. nice to me, but you know, that whole level thing. So he called me sir. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like you deserve a sir right now. Well, thank you, Kasim. That's very nice of you. It's kind of like how what? people. It's like you a... can call me friend because that's how I view all black people <laughs> as a friend. Jesus. <laughs> Joe's like, I use the yeah. F word. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the F word. <laughs> Joe, see, uh, people don't get like knowing because people wonder like, why am I on here? Is that I know these two gentlemen very well. Yeah, I knew Joe when he used to just act when he wanted to be recognized as white. Yeah, and then also when Joe would be, you were drinking all you you your biggest claim you drank all the alcohol. That's right. In the punchline, you, they had to shut down for it. I was a raging alcoholic. I would really? catch the bus Control. with you. One time, you don't remember this one. But I we do were on the remember seven, this. And you were we were sitting in the handicap seats. That's right. And you were sloshed. Your whole insides were it was blood in your You were you didn't even you were you were just on the bus. You weren't even at the place. Where I was, was next drunk. to you telling you, fam, you need to be quiet. 
Because you were talking so wild and reckless. This dude who was like a weird height, like six foot fifteen. When was this? Was like, this is probably this had to have been in like what two thousand twelve. Yeah, this when you were fucking a lot. You yeah. were like a high. You were like Lebroning it. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah. you was out there and you were just living funny as shit. Yeah, that's the thing about it. I I remember women would watch you because you just it was like Joe, you got a lot of girls back in the day. <laughs> Really? Before this whole incel thing. <laughs> Before I got cursed with Joe, being an Joe incel. Joe got radicalized by being an incel. <laughs> Here, here's actually why Joe is choosing to exude his Japanese-ness now. Yeah, this is great. This is what happened. Joe gained so much weight that he just oh. naturally started to look Asian. <laughs> <laughs> and he's like, oh, I'm just going to tell people I'm Japanese. <laughs> you gets, basically, you get turned to Kung Fu Panda. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Very good night. You do look like you do look like an illustration of a Japanese villain. Oh, like a cool one, though. Yeah, you look like, like how Ice Cube looks no, like Joe a Joe looks like an anime side character. <laughs> <laughs> like the guy, the villain's friend. No, Joe. No, I would be like a, a shopkeeper that can sell you mana. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you look like a Zelda shopkeep. Yeah. <laughs> He's like, ooh, what would you like to eat today? Uh, uh, wait, Kasim, what's the rest of the story? You guys were on the bus? Was oh, that we're it? on the bus. <laughs> Joe's wild drunk, just talking loud. And you, you didn't know who was on the bus. Social worker, knowing who's on the bus, there was this dude who was at, like, he had this fucked up face, right? And you were so loud. He was trying to look at me to tell you to shut the fuck up. And I was, if I would have left you on that bus, you would have got duffed the fuck out. Because nah. you were, you, dude, people were looking at you like, this dude saying, you were saying this, you made this one joke about black people that <laughs> <laughs> they looked at me Here like, if go. you don't do it, I'm going to do it. And I'm going to have to fuck you up. Because oh, you didn't do no. that. And I was like, and I gave this look like, hey, man, we cool, we cool, good. That's a joke. Just be quiet for two more stops. Oh, my what God. What was the joke? What was the joke? I don't remember. It was a lot of G's. You know what I mean, I, I don't know. It was a lot of, it was a lot of. Was it two G's prefaced with an N-I <laughs> and followed with an E-R? I feel like somewhere <laughs> in there, bro. I feel like. I feel like. Dalton. Yeah. <laughs> you, you were trying to explain something. And then, I'm not big. Like, your voice went like. All right. And I was like. You joke, and you're so funny. Yeah. And you're you're a kind of funny that is rare with your kind. You know what I mean? Like yeah. Japanese? Japanese. Yeah. <laughs> Straight Joe, white man. Wait, yeah. wait, you're half Japanese, half what else? No, no, I'm a quarter Japanese. Quarter wait, Japanese. now it's quarter? It's always been a quarter. You lo- you people <laughs> Yo, How many yen is I'm that? not here to really do a guess. I'm really here as an intervention to know that <laughs> Joe, I'm trying oh, to fix your yeah. life. You need to yeah. admit you're mostly Japanese. No, I'm only a little bit Japanese. Your eyes were a lot tighter when no. I knew you. He Dude. actually had eyelid surgery. That's what I'm saying. That's why you moved got, out here. I got the non-botched version of Brian <laughs> yeah. Callen's eyelid surgery. <laughs> <laughs> they say like if you're not a rapist, the surgery goes over without a hitch. Let's just say. <laughs> so they were like, let's just say, I passed the litmus test. Joe's always been about five years before Brian Callen and everything, <laughs> and everything he's ever done. <laughs> I think Joe, but then you cleaned up your act, but you were fucking. I found what? Christ. You didn't. Know when did you stop I did uh, drinking? I uh, like I think that. I stopped drinking when because when like, I first met you, you were it was at Power Hour at the Creek. Yeah, and I was, I was fucking first, hammered. Dude, yeah. you were so drunk. But, but you dude. you slowed down a lot. I, you still I, do I, drink now. I man, drink, but, but yeah. I don't drink as much. I don't drink every night, and I don't drink to blackout. Well, I was in San Francisco, and it's so fun when you're just in your early 20s, especially. It's easier to do it. It's easier to do it when you're younger and, like, your body just recovers faster. Yeah. And you have, like, less to lose. But it's also, like, when you're in starting out, for me at least, starting out in San Francisco in your 20s, it's like, oh, shit, look at all these cool people. It's, like, a fun – so it's a more fun yeah. scene. It's a social and, thing. And it's, it's super social, and it's, like, easy to get – it's, like, one of the few scenes in America where it's, like, easy to get around because it's uh, so small, yeah. too. I think everyone in, like, their 20s at some point is like, oh, I'm a fucking drunk guy comic. Oh, oh God, yeah. yeah. See, how old are you? I'm 43. You're 43? Yeah, I never had alcohol. Like that. Ever? I mean, I've had like every once in a while a drink as a goof, but now like Joe's liver is just floating. You yeah, know I'm, I mean? I'm, I'm, like, my body is like permanently destroyed. Yeah, really? like, but like I, my fear would be because I don't want to lose control and I don't like the taste of it. But I, my thing is like, like somehow I feel like you don't want to show it. Like you get red when you get drunk, right? Uh Oh, dude. You yeah. sweat? Yeah, yeah, I get it, like it's yeah. embarrassing. I get yeah, I get the red face. I turn into an ass. I just yeah. I, I got I turned into a bull in a china shop. Yeah, yeah like literally last night. Don't don't stop drinking pretty recently. But like, yeah, I'm like twenty. Are you in the program? Yes, no, no, but God. I downloaded a sobriety <laughs> app God. and I'm like twenty one days sober from alcohol. But I've still been. Hey, getting, yeah, I've been getting high. 
Do you live here? Yeah. Not in this apartment. We all live was, together. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's a, yeah. I thought this. I felt like. I, you, who do you live with here? Uh, all of us. This is a friend. He's a, uh, just a roommate. You have one roommate? Yeah. You're, but you're rich, right? Yes. <laughs> Robbie, Robbie, I heard through the grapevine that you, you like your parents do something wrong for society, kind of rich. What? That's not true at all. Who said that? His uh, mom is Hillary Clinton. Yeah. My my dad is Brian Callen. <laughs> 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 I feel like somebody somebody told me like you, but you come you come from your parents are doing all you're doing. They're doing what they do well. Don't yeah. you drive a Benz? No, yes. no, I do not. I don't even Hold drive. On. I live in New York. No, but you can drive. You know how to drive. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. But then you drive a somebody said you drive a Benz. My dad has a be- has a Mercedes Benz. Oh, so you was whipping it out around. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay, 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 okay. You you you're good. <laughs> yeah, I, mean, I keep the funny going. I just haven't seen y'all so long. I get so much shit. You know what I'm saying? Because yeah. this is amazing. This is like y'all. Is this like, Holmgren tell you the that? dream? Now Holmgren, <laughs> Holmgren did not. Holmgren. Now there's some. I think now the thing about this, like I don't really follow San Francisco scene anymore, but people are getting older. Good, good riddance, I mean, right? Aren't we glad to be out of that shithole? Talk about your shitholes, San Francisco comedy. Wait, it's wait, never, don't let it's Joe, never coming don't back. Joe, it's Joe never would, coming back. It's done, Kasim. No, can we admit? I, I can we think, say on the I podcast think, it's done? I, I don't think so. I think it's it's over. Comedy College is getting a new building. The dream is dead. <laughs> the dream is the dream is dead. Jo- jo- can we admit the dream is dead? <laughs> jo- I'm not admitting the dream. Can we is like dead. admit that for San- the San Francisco dream is dead? The New York dream is alive. Wow, comedy's alive. Everyone's but, getting but an intervention this episode. Dead. There's no way, dude. I mean, look, you moved at the right time. I, I got out. Of, I, it was a sinking ship, Kasim. I I don't know that. I was I I remember. Do you remember the Facebook message I sent to you the day before I left? I said, Kasim, my plane takes off tomorrow. Tell me you'll be at the gate. And we'll start over. And I ran in New York. <laughs> and I ran. It, it, I, and, I, like, and I grabbed I, what yeah. I thought was you, but it was a little boy. Yeah. Right. <laughs> 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 a little boy. Then, then, he, then he said, let go of me. And he expletive, expletive. I said, wow. And then you got on the plane. I know. And, got, and then months later, I saw you standing on a bus stop yelling comedy. And I was so proud of you. That's right. Then Jeff Zamaria told me you're doing well because he put you up at the stand. That's right. And now you're here with COVID, just spreading it to all two, three. I of could, us. I could give a fuck. I, I look. That's what I so want. I want to die, and yeah. I want people to die paying attention to me, and that that's why I do stand up comedy right now during COVID, because like honestly, like I'm willing to die for this, and more importantly, I want people to die for my comedy. I feel I, like you will get a, all this occult following because this is such the great like. You're the so you're the leader that doesn't want to say you're the leader. Yeah. You're the secret weapon. You are just like I'm the wild card. Now baby. you're the one that's gonna leave because of charges. <laughs> <laughs> like, they're gonna have to replace you with an Asian guy, a real Asian guy. Like what? like that other dude from Sacramento that moved out here. What's his name? Which one? True Dan's. No. <laughs> True yeah. Dan's. True Dan's. True, True Dan's. just messaged me on my. Wa- <laughs> I thought when he moved to New York, he was true. If you're watching this, <laughs> do me a favor, bro. Change your name <laughs> <laughs> because you have the name of a guy that's lost. Oh, in battle rap, you know what I mean? <laughs> like, true Dan, like, true Dan. Yeah, he like, seems Dan. like that is the name of an early Eight Mile villain. <laughs> like, <laughs> level one, yeah, boss. level one. <laughs> Robbie, Robbie, I think you mean Eight Mile. <laughs> <laughs> he wrote Punch Up in like yeah. Eight Mile. Like, it's like, please, true, really change because it's just like guy, <laughs> like this guy in the Bay Area named Mean Dave. Oh, Mean Dave, so funny that he's at a point of being so funny. Like mean, if you watch this, you're my man, Possum Man. Change your name. Yeah. There's so many. That's such a small how about, thing. How about Funny Dave? Because <laughs> he's Wait, funny. I've got a good he's one. He's not mean. What about Mean Dave the comedian? <laughs> <laughs> how about Mean, mean Dave Dan's parentheses mean. comedian? Yeah. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> that would be great if the black comedian who started having to like put an exclamation point was a real game changer. You know, yeah. 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 Com- like, comedian mean Dave parentheses comedy. <laughs> That's such like a small scene thing. Like everyone I first started in San Francisco, everyone I got friend everyone, requests yeah. from. Yeah, like yeah, Juan the comedian. Uh, may he plus, rest in peace. May he rest in peace, dude. Every every <laughs> town that has like what you might call an urban scene <laughs> has at least a hundred people who go by whatever. No, duck, but these, du- are, these are white guys too. I know, yeah, yeah. but I've seen normal white people, people were doing this too. <laughs> <laughs> and that's, what's so weird about it. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit. dude! Wait, 
who had the you know what the illest name is my man Corey Showtime Robinson. <laughs> oh, he's funny. I love and Corey. Gary Cornbread. <laughs> <laughs> Gary Cornbread. Gary Cornbread Anderson. All right. Uh, what are our names going to be? Showtime and Cornbread. <laughs> I mean, just imagine <laughs> if there was like, you know, a chitlin circuit for vaudeville. You yeah. know what I mean? Like chip Cornbread and Showtime. There was a- <laughs> That's not like the worst, it's- like... I feel like yeah. Harlem Globetrotter. Like, yeah. you know, members, like, we got Showtime. We got Cornbread. Yeah, they both yeah. sound, they'd be racist adjectives to put in front of a basketball team. <laughs> <laughs> I remember there was a guy. <laughs> the Cornbread Celtic. Whoa, <laughs> chill out, dude. <laughs> 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 the, the black league we always wanted, you know. <laughs> <laughs> the cornbread Celtics, the cornbread Celtics, with the candy Am warriors <laughs> meeting the cool SWAT generals, and right? give it up for the barbecue seventy sixers. <laughs> like, somebody had a meeting and they were like, "How can we get black people to watch basketball? <laughs> There's just not enough black people watching basketball." <laughs> like the guy from Popeyes buys like the big three league. You know what I mean? Cornbread Anderson. <laughs> <laughs> and shooting guard, uh, <laughs> Kool Aid Jackson, <laughs> and LeBron James, the basketball player! <laughs> exclamation point! Exclamation point! And he's a white guy. Rajon Rondo parentheses <laughs> Ray <B> Ball, <laughs> Ranch, Ranch Smith. You know what I mean? <laughs> Calling out of work, Jackson. <laughs> yeah. Chitlin Charles. Kwanzas? <laughs> <laughs> there was there was a guy back in Dallas who called himself uh Scarecrow Duck Comedian. And Ooh. I remember he started some beef on the Dallas Fort Worth comedian page one time. And at one point he was like, Do you guys know who I am? I'm a sixteen time haircutting champion. <laughs> And we were like, what does that mean, dude? <laughs> Wait, you know what? Okay, see, now, I, now me understanding black culture, knowing that, like, that tells me without knowing him and just going to black barber shots, guys who are really good at cutting hair are also hella funny. Right. Uh, so yeah. if he wasn't funny, I'd be surprised. And he's 16? This you guy. Know time, you know what's time? To, to entertain and to get the, to grab a good cut and be funny. Yeah. I'd almost have to. Yeah, have to honestly, don't. Dalton, you just don't know anything about the black community. Kasim, <laughs> am I right? He, he, I honestly. <laughs> 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 I would love if I just keep getting invited back just so you can say all these yeah. things. Am I this right? This Kasim and Joe chemistry is incredible. <laughs> I, I asked, I asked him not to do this before you came. I said, guys, let's try and not force in black people shit while we're in, talking to a black guy. He, he looks at his black we're people doing- shit. I look at his shit. <laughs> you know, I, cool shit that I like to do. Black was- people shit. Okay. I don't Paying wanna... taxes? I don't know, man. <laughs> I think it's pretty cool to me. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I don't want... him is laughing and also seems like he wants to leave. Yeah. <laughs> no, I'm just like, I'm so worried about him because I know you want this to work really good. You know what I'm saying? Dude, I'm and happy like, with it. Because you want the Patreon to pick up. He you want everything. everything to be good. And you're getting redder. I just, I just. Oh, I'm, I'm very high. He's right been now. sneaking. You are. He's been. Yeah. He's on shots. drugs. He's a drug I'm, guy. I'm, I'm, a drug I'm sorry. Guy. I just keep staring at you because you look like this plus size model. I see on Instagram. <laughs> so, so, <laughs> Dalton, like, of course <laughs> you would like plus size models. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> here we go. Guys. Honestly, I said bro, let's not do this. Honestly, bro, if you want to make money on the side, you get on OnlyFans. Yeah. Yeah. And you just wear a bikini. Grow your hair out and only and really just put hashtag that black people like. There's enough dudes in prison. Yeah. There's yeah. enough hashtag dudes. Lucy hashtag, hashtag uh, Kennedy. You know what's funny? Flynn, is- hashtag hashtag BLM hashtag. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you in a wig with hashtag BLM. Yeah. That was so funny. You know what? Because I remind you, one time I was in downtown Oakland and I saw a black guy with he was gay. He Uh-oh. was like a, but he was, but it was like the more. I'm, right. I'm already laughing. <laughs> and he was with, <laughs> oh, a, he was with a white guy that looked like you, but he was very femme. He was like Ross, that comedian guy, whatever Ross, whatever. Oh yeah, yeah. And the guy was wearing a not tight, but like somewhat fitted sparkly shirt. Mm. And these black women walked by, said, "Even these fat white men are taking good black men." Uh. <laughs> <laughs> and just stared at him. You know what I mean? And so I look at you. I just keep. I, I know you're a handsome guy, 
But Thank you just look, you. But you're a beautiful woman. Yeah. 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 You feel what I'm saying? Well, you know what's so funny? Is like, prison would be... They would kill for that. Don and I did Dude, a show this weekend. I would, week. yeah. We did, we, Don and I did a show this weekend where we both played uh, uh, characters. I played Waluigi. I, like, put a lot of time and effort into my costume. Dalton did very minimal effort to play Roseanne. But it worked so well. Yeah. <laughs> like Dude, I look just like you, uh, an overweight woman. Yeah, yeah. No, you, know, you look like you look like Donald Logue. Okay, I'll take yeah. that. Yeah, dude. Dallas, Dallas Steve. Yeah, yeah. I'll take Donald Logue. Yeah, bro. You that's you how tall are you? Five ten. I think you're about the you're same not height. Five ten. Yeah, I am. Let him lie, bro. Okay. Like you can't. I mean, I'm not I say lying. I'm five. I, I tell people I'm five four. Yeah, you should because there's a, there's a way. Though? Yeah. I'm a little boy. You're like a fire hydrant. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, absolutely. I love but it. That, but my, my fetish, can I be honest? Can I be like 100% honest? I know honest what with your you? fetish is. What is my fetish, Kasim? And I'll tell you what it really is. Okay. <laughs> it's not consensual. Yeah. No, he's going to say, <laughs> I know what you're going to okay. I know what it is. What's your fetish, Joe? It would be a gigantic muscular women who would carry yeah. me around in a baby <laughs> Oh, death by snoo I think snoo. you do like gigantic women. <laughs> absolutely. Because did you, uh, I, I'll tell you. Yeah, I did. You did? I did. What? What? Joe what? actually does. Oh. What? What? Wait, what'd you do? No, I don't even know. Joe actually <laughs> does. Know. I hear what I'm saying. <laughs> if I say this person's name off odd, you're going to be like, I will be blown. Say it on the podcast. Yeah. I'll say uh, the lay it LP. Huh? Oh, okay. I know what you're talking about. You mean LB for LP. pounds. <laughs> 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 Support the Patreon. <laughs> <laughs> this one right here, they, they're, they're going to break the band up. And this one's Buster Fetch. 2021, this one's going in. Uh-oh. Oh, you're there? Shane Get Gillis is going to be. I'm telling you, this one this one right here. Yeah, you're Watch definitely out. a three-point shooter, man. Over yeah, here. people can see it. They can see the star power in me. Uh-oh. Because you're all country and shit. Yeah. And That's when Trump say. wins this week, and you just Lord willing. Thank you. <laughs> Lord, <laughs> Lord willing. I'll tell you. <laughs> if you became a Republican comedian... Dude. Yes, if, a I be, if I became a Republican <laughs> comedian. <laughs> <laughs> are, are there any, except David Angelo. The guy David who, Angelo, yeah. Is yeah. There any, he's not even, uh, he's pretty Republican. But Nick, Nick DiPaolo. Oh, good yes. friend of the pod. David Angelo's maybe. Friend the, the pod. Yeah. <laughs> he, did the, he loves the podcast. David Angelo's. No, pod. you're Joe's, like. Nick DiPaolo? Joe, stop. Joe's being a good trickster. friend. Tell me, I, I don't know why. I, I'm friendly with Dave, though. He's the, probably the only non racist Republican comedian. Because you got right. Sam Hyde, okay. Anthony Cumia, Nick DiPaolo. These are all remember, r- racist well, guys. Remember when, um, remember when Nick DiPaolo had the... Um, Who else? Oh, Nate Bargatze's yeah. Republican. That's true. Yeah. Well, hold on. You're lying. No, no. no. He, he's like pretty... He's like... He just doesn't talk about No, politics. he... Well, he's like kind of conservative. I don't, yeah. I don't know And if he also Republican. said he really enjoyed seeing those kids in cages, too. <laughs> he said it, it made him feel like powerful. You I don't know. know. I, I, I feel proud to be an American. <laughs> seeing freedom yeah, sucked away are... from somebody when it was so close at their fingertips. <laughs> they could almost taste the freedom of America to have it snatched up and put in a dehumanizing You cage. know what I thought would be great for you? What? Racist slam poet. Oh, I am. Like or yeah. or racist moth like, like, you know, like just, just like <laughs> racist like, <laughs> it's like the story goes it starts going one where like the moth will make you cry but it takes this really yeah. interesting pivot yeah. <laughs> racist slam boy is just like do you see this do you know what <laughs> this means yeah. it means not welcome <laughs> 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 welcome to the stage I turned the entirety of American history yeah. Yeah. into a slam poem. You say, you say Jews will not replace us, but snap in the yeah. middle of every word. <laughs> hey, you just had a black poetry mic up next to the stage. It is. What would it be Jay Wolf or would it just be Joe Gorman? I don't know. What, what would you think? What do you think? I think Jay Wolf. Because yeah. the slam po- I would go to slams and there would always be sometimes like a guy. There would be like the white. A guy that looks like you. Mm-hmm. Right. Well, did you know, like, like, a, like, a, a, like, a, like a substitute? You know what I mean? A wolf mm-hmm. is the highest ranking you can have in the KKK. <laughs> it's like above Imperial it's above, Wizard. It's above Imperial Wizard. <laughs> the, the, the White Wolf. Wow. Of the, KKK. the KKK really has some Smash Bros kind of titles. Yeah. Huh? <laughs> Pretty cool. <laughs> the, oh, the Wizard. Honestly, Grand everything... Wizard, Imperial Dragon. Are you kidding me? Uh, Let, yeah. Hey, let's be honest right now. <laughs> I would invest time to become an Imperial Dragon. Like I do love the fact that Imperial <laughs> Dragon, it's so weird that it, like if you think Imperial Dragon, you think maybe KKK, yeah. Chinese food. Yeah, definitely Chinese food. <laughs> Bring the two together. Mm. KKK, Chinese food. Uh, but on a sidebar, did you know that on the, K- on the, on the clan site, when, they, when you can buy a KKK robe? Yes, And they course. call it a costume. Is it terry cloth? It is actually... <laughs> 
Can I put it on out of the shower? Terry Cloth <laughs> at a KKK bathroom. <laughs> like for the racist who really is like into comfort. It's monogram. Yeah, like, hey, you know what? I'm actually just going to fucking uh, be racist at home right it's, now. It's got embroidery. It's got yeah. KKK well, embroidery in the, in the, in the, the back. It's pandemic. Yeah. Is KKK work from home? <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm racist from home. Yeah, yeah. He's, just, he's just mailing letters saying nigger. <laughs> <on it>. <laughs> <laughs> address is like... <laughs> a, cl- a clansman wearing just the hood on a Zoom meeting. <laughs> <laughs> Donald ducking it. He's just sitting there. Yeah. You know, just like, hey, guys, I thought we could not do that. Uh-huh. Right? They, on the, on they, um, they used to do on the clan site, it's like, they used to give you washing instructions. And, and it says also, or dry clean only, which is so weird because, like, if you think about you it, have like to go Asians, to a dry cleaner. Yeah, because you go to the Asian one only, you know, that most they all own or some. Well, they, no, they I don't, dude, they would they would fucking dry clean in a fucking heart. <laughs> yeah, they, they, wouldn't they, they wouldn't even know what it they was. They wouldn't care. Well, they, I try to get out the blood, you know what yeah. I mean? I try so hard. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> they try to tell you that the coffee stand had always been there. Yeah. <laughs> oh, you're, you're all ready right now. Yeah. <laughs> you keep dropping red Gatorade on your thing, though. No. They also say it's a costume. Three cents of costume, which I thought wow. was so weird, but you can buy it, and they were affordable. How I, much? They were like ninety bucks. Oh, oh that's oh, well, dude. I all, seriously uh, thought where one. this was going was you're gonna say in the wash instructions or wash color wash separately. Yeah, like, yeah, uh, yeah, I didn't want to. I didn't. I didn't want to be that. I, I thought like, I was like, okay, I'm ready. He, I see where this is going. <laughs> like yeah. Yeah. little birds will just like watch. It's like Ugh. that'd be good, yeah. like a '80s comic punchline. Mm. Right? Yeah, yeah. Wash separately, huh? Can <laughs> <laughs> I sell the movie Soul Man? Yeah. You know I mean? yeah, yeah. I d- oh, you know what? Mm. I want to say I saw a movie that you guys should watch. It changed my life. There's a couple movies in my life. Was Birth, of a Birth of a Nation. Wait, Girth of a Nation. No, that's the Ralphie May special. <laughs> <laughs> I saw this movie, Gay Niggers in Outer Space. Oh, oh I saw I'm it. listening. I. <laughs> I don't mean, see. I don't want to be one of them dudes that get on a white podcast and coon out. I'm just saying it's funny for the purposes of comedy, and mm-hmm. I see the way you're perking up. So I noticed that like it's just a funny movie. The fact that it got made in 1992, Blackie, have you seen it? N- no. It's it's amazing. It's it's just like how it sounds. Okay. Guy, there's an alien black race of men. Terrifying. Terrifying. <laughs> So this is a horror. You know what's great about you <laughs> is that because you don't break. <laughs> you just you like, like Jimmy Fallon. Wish he could be like you in the nineties. He just wouldn't break character. Huge. Yeah. And you just say and you just have this like stare. <laughs> like so when you do get brought up on charges next year, yeah, and yeah. you're on the stand, like yeah. you beat you could beat the lie detector. Yeah, absolutely. I do give Joe credit for making eye contact only with Kasim when he says something racist. <laughs> <laughs> he loves it. He loves it. Hey, there's no part of me that ever wants to just go off on you. But back in the day in the Bay Area, dog, I had to talk people down off the roof. Really? Absolutely. Like other comics? Because he was wild. He would say, because he was a gossip. You know, oh, he was yeah. a piece of shit, drunk, talking crazy shit. And every, but everyone. Boy, podcast- I can't relate to that. <laughs> <laughs> so, hold on. So it's a, it's a. Alien black race, <laughs> and as soon as soon as they have, they're coming to Earth. As soon as they've all successfully acquired bus passes, space bus passes, mega bus passes, yeah, space mega bus passes. Mega so, bus does sound like a spaceship. Yeah, oh, yeah. that would be great if mega bus did by NASA. You know, what yeah. I mean? man, I'm going to the moon for twenty dollars. Right? <laughs> <laughs> he is waiting at you're just waiting at area for some area fifty one. Just waiting in line with a guy with a big ass backpack. You know what I mean? I just, I just gotta get out of town. You know what's <laughs> funny? I do think on a long enough timeline, that'll be how space travel is. It'll get to like, you know, like when the car was invented. Oh it was yeah, like, it was such a luxury to get to ride in something with an engine. Yeah, and yeah. now it's like. There's just, you know, you could ride in a fucking Toyota Corolla, you like know? Like, people used to dress up to go on an airplane. And so one day there right. will... Oh, yeah. Right, right. Yeah, so one day there will what be... What a hassle. Airplanes are so uncomfortable. I know, it's insane. It it well, they weren't uncomfortable back in the day. They, I mean, it used to be like a luxury thing. It wasn't until oh. like the 70s and 80s where they commercialized it so much. Oh, got it. That's but, why COVID's so great, because I, when I flew here, there's a fact that, like, on my plane, two every two rows, you just had one row full, not full, but like one, it was like one person per row. I guess it's like... You want COVID to be over, but like, can we just keep some yeah. things going? Yep. 
Like what it was, was easy to get. Like when I would have to go downtown uh, for work, mm-hmm. and I, I lived I lived up, up uh, in Harlem, and it took me like twenty minutes to go from like one twenty fifth to nineteenth. I feel so bad for you. Yeah, I miss. I, I, not because of not because oh, Harlem like, just sounds far. I felt yeah. I feel like to be a comic trying to get. Now I've been in these Ubers and I paid a thousand dollars for all these Uber rides today. I get it now. I get why staying in Brooklyn makes sense to go to Manhattan, but if you can just get to Manhattan, just stay in Manhattan. Yeah, I mean, I be don't, here basically. I don't Wait, go where, to, where do you live? I live in the Bay Area. Okay. But then I was in LA, but I'm about to either go back to LA. But I am thinking about I'm I am absorbing New York. I'm kinda like New York rocks. Right? Now's the time to it's come. The better. You wanna be roommates? So but, but you're I'm like saying, the king oh, man, of San Francisco, like, I feel nah, like Nah, there's that that hurts my heart. San yeah. Francisco. No, and because dead, like dude. You, you shut up with that. I'm sorry, Kasim. Like, look, people. Kasim, <laughs> I'm sorry, but it's done. It and is we not have to done. accept this. Let it go. No, uh, it's dead. It's not dead. Okay. When you left, something did. The heart. You no. And now it's and now no, it's no, 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 no. You want to joke around, but you see, you guess you're getting him right now. Like, whatever how turned up he is right now. But there was a point where Joe would get up on stage. Let's say there was two ways to see Joe at an open mic, not caring. And he would just say what he wanted or back or in back of a comedy room. It's great. But sometimes at an open mic, and he would just speak freely. It was like one time you were performing at this shitty place in Tenderloin. And this Tenderloin is just like it sounds. It's a horrible place. It was a it was a sh- it was like one of those summer shows, 6 p.m. You were just saying, you do you just say, oh, fuck it. Because everyone was cheering you on to say what he wanted. Everything. You were just talking about rave. And black people, <laughs> and Asian people, and gays, and everybody. Joe's got act has really calmed down. Yeah, like Joe in like a showcase, or even on these zooms, he's always just so wholesome and nice, and, and yeah. like very like G-rated. Comedy I've, I've reinvented myself as a clean cut comedian. Ever since I came out as pansexual, I realized like I, I can't risk getting canceled. So like you got, you got Joe at his best, and we're getting the, the yeah. You're getting of like he wants to make it, so he's gonna <laughs> he's gonna so he's gonna fake it. Keep it cool. Keep his dick in his pants. Keep the roofies at home. You know what I'm saying? Did, yeah. other, did other comics get ma- get mad at you, Joe? That much? Nah. Yes. What? Who? Man, they I'm all just... quit comedy, dude. You're Anyone that lying, quit. bro. Yeah. You, dog. Okay, because here's the thing about it. Joe would say wild shit. So black comics were like, "How do you hang?" Uh, my question was like, "How do you hang out with this fool?" And I was like, "He's cool. He just says what he wants." But we were also impressed because you just took all these liberties to say what you want, but. Everyone would say that the thing that would get Joe is like, why don't you have a podcast? If you would have started a podcast four years ago. Yeah. Didn't you start a podcast for you? I did with uh, Adam, Adam Perlstein. Perlstein. <laughs> well, Joe, it seems like you're a day late and a dollar short, dude. Sorry that you had to start a podcast with us four years after you should have. No, 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 no. If, Joe, if this podcast could blow and he could afford a Metro card because of this, you know, I'm starting to see there's levels. Now, like, you know, Chapo money could happen. Oh, that'd be great! Oh, look how Robbie. We're gonna be up. the right. We're gonna. <laughs> we're gonna Did someone be, say Chapo? <laughs> but you guys just have to become communists. We're gonna be the right wing trap house. Yeah. Yeah, dude. Chapo rape house. Chapo rape house. <laughs> Wait, that would be somebody rework the rework the logo where the skull is just fucking. Another, I mean, that, that's another. just the Ben Shapiro show. I feel like. <laughs> Hell yeah. Which sucks. That little nut. Both of them. Did you suck. see that Ben Shapiro is going to be hosting Saturday Night Live? <laughs> <laughs> We've got a ex out. So they took out Dave Chappelle. Yeah. Ben Shapiro. Yeah. They decided yeah. like they got too much pushback. Wait, that'd be Dave so. Chappelle. If Trump, ladies and gentlemen, we have Ace of Base. On <laughs> we, we have a perfectly fine show for you tonight. Uh, we have, uh, ladies and gentlemen, making the stallion. <laughs> <laughs> Trump wins the re-election and then like. Pull Chappelle off SNL yeah, and, and replaces it with Ben folks, Shapiro. Folks, right, executive order, I'm in charge of SNL. Ben Shapiro, <laughs> you're the host. <laughs> Thank you very much, Donald. I'm going to be very funny. I have a lot of good jokes. I have a lot of good things to say. It's all very, very funny. <laughs> what would now? What would be the perfect guest in terms of a politician on this show? Who would you guys want? AOC. Ooh, yeah. <laughs> and we, but we would only yeah. talk about Ohio. Yeah, shit. and be like, okay, so uh, <laughs> we have a, yeah. I say we kidnap the governor of Michigan. <laughs> To have her on okay, the now, show. Now we're getting good. <laughs> yeah. Now we're getting. Let's all let's plan this out. Let's like. I'm gonna it. steal the governor of Michigan. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like 
What's that with you? I feel like it could happen because you look like the dude from that Clint Eastwood movie about that guy. Yeah. That, what was his name? The Richard, Richard Jewell. Yeah. Oh, come on. He's like, <laughs> he looks like better that. than Richard Jewell. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'm not saying he looks like Richard Jewell. He looks like Richard Lewis Jewell. You know? <laughs> <laughs> this is like, because I don't know. I don't know. You know what I mean? So you come like in. like Richard Uncut Jim. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit, dude. <laughs> I think we found the title. Yeah, Richard. <laughs> Richard Uncut Jim. Because you come in all like, hey, I don't know. And then Joe, and you have to do something because your mustache right now says too much. What do you mean? It's unnecessary. Mm. How so? It's, cre- it's creepy? It's no, because if Robbie shaves, hey. he'll look just like Doppel Robbie. There's another guy who you looks. This mustache is creepy. <laughs> How's Joe's not creepy, but mine is. It's it's complimentary to my like, face. I mean, look, man, thirty cock over here, Judah Freelander looking ass dude. I mean, you, Joe is just Joe. It's it's the effort it takes for Joe to be this. Ah, you know what I mean? It's like, <laughs> but you're so handsome. Oh, thanks. This character actor. You know what I mean? If Jason Schwimmer. Had a show and he had a needed a brother or son. Oh my god, you know the what I'm dream. Saying? I want to be David Schwimmer's son. Just because you're going to blow up. Because you're going to blow up. Oh, thanks. Because you, because you, the impressions, the jokes. After I saw you at the punchline, when you were just like mulling around, I knew you were gonna make because you didn't want to address nobody at the punchline. You were just weaving past people like they all had corona. Oh, know? I, I was probably my head. Did you oh, know no, Robbie? Gonna... Robbie is he is half Afghani, so he is gonna blow what? up. <laughs> he is gonna blow up from the suicide vest. Oh, <laughs> Wait a minute, I, that was very funny. I don't want to be that person <laughs> that <I'm> laughing. <laughs> I'm learning a. Wh- no, wait. you knew that, Kasim. No, I did not. Yeah, know you that, did. Bro. I, I don't know shit yes, about you. I bro. read because at the roast of Dash Kwiatkowski, uh, I said that, and you went, "I don't know that." I don't know <laughs> <laughs> really? Yeah, it was funny. I mean, you were on you were on stage, which was pretty funny. But it, uh, doesn't da- I saw Dash with a TV? M- did may it? they rest in peace? No, don't, not, don't may, misgender. May, may they them not, rest in oh, peace? Wait, you're misgendering them, dude. Wait, what is Dash now? He's they're trans or non-binary. Yeah, he like did all the things that you do to get likes on social media, and still has has very low engagement on Twitter. Yeah, it's un- really unfortunate. His his. There yeah. you got oh, yeah, look, yeah, dude. Yeah. You can't, you can't fucking misgender these fucking things, bro. <laughs> <laughs> this would be great on the podcast. You can say the most offensive, but you can say it so Just low that people don't even want to turn up the volume. I know. Yeah, Joe throws everyone a curveball by saying racist things, but sounding just concerned. Just, just like <laughs> racist ASMR. You know what I mean? Like, uh, ASM hard R. <laughs> <laughs> Support the Patreon. <laughs> this one right here, dude. Did you take a vitamin today? What's going on? No, nah, dude. I'm just happy to be alive. Nah, Dalton's in a good. When you get Dalton on a good day, he's like a, a killer. Yeah. Oh yeah, he's a bit of nuclear energy. Yeah, nuclear, nuclear. <laughs> Three Ks. <Yeah>. Right <laughs> the only N word they can't say. I feel like after this and coming down, I gotta do some black shit. Today. I can't, dude. You, you want to yeah. come to dinner with us? Once again, I gotta do some black. Shit. We're, gonna, <laughs> we're, 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 we're gonna, gonna have we're, black dinner. We're, we're gonna, gonna steal black, the we food. Got a black ass dinner. We're like eating crispy, crunchy chicken. We're, like, what are we? Go- we're we're actually, gonna Kennedy's fried chicken. You're gonna eat a pack of Marlboros? Or, or what are you gonna do? Kennedy's what? fried chicken. What is that? That's like the black. Oh, you don't know about chicken. Kennedy, dude? I actually did. Used to live. I used to live in Crown Heights in a very. Um, Low in power. Is there a way to move? Is there area? a way to move to New York <laughs> and live in an area that just isn't horrible at first? Can anyone just move? Is any comic? Everybody no. has a horror story about their first. Yeah, like, it's year. so hard to get a good apartment. When but you, honestly, once you, once I've lived here for this like, is a, this is dope. How yeah, you've had, have you just lived here? No, I moved here because the pandemic. Uh, like the, it's like, it's like a. I'll I'll tell you off, Mike. It's not okay. that interesting, but um. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But yeah, I mean, it's just like, yeah, so during the during the pandemic, I was like, if I'm ever going to be able to move to Manhattan, it's like now when the rents are like low and shit. I'm sure in San Francisco, I heard like 90, like the rents are plummeting again, too, so right? I managed There's like 90% in of uh, fucking businesses moved out of the city or something. Oh, damn, right? oh yeah. wait, my joke from earlier di- didn't get heard by everybody. What is I it? Was, I said, we are going to go have black dinner. We're going to steal the food. I appreciate. Kasim, I apologize. <laughs> no, 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 Kasim, no, 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 Kasim, you're, no, no, Kasim, no, no, no. I'm so sorry. I'm gonna, I'm gonna call. We'll get you on Wild and Out tomorrow. <laughs> yeah. 
brick just cannon undo over here. Like Sorry, I, I, undo I wanted this. to make sure. <laughs> on, I wanted to make sure it was a bomb. It was. No, it <laughs> wasn't a bomb. But the fact that you had to hold us, yeah, and like, uh, and then you, this you podcast just, is still uh, less white than the Bodega Boys. <laughs> <laughs> like with new york there is this thing where if you just if you can start so if you just can throw shade at other new york podcasts i, I listen to enough of them that are trying to thrive that it seems like if you just throw say something mm. it feels mm. like it's gonna be you my friend mm. i feel you have it in you i do, do. i am I yeah, I've yet to tap into my true potential, but I've this happens to me a lot where people always tell Dalton he's gonna be famous like right next to me. <laughs> like, he said you're dude, gonna blow up. Airs Robbie up inside. <laughs> it, really does. it happens all the time. All the time. <laughs> <laughs> like, he's, like, he's never happy for Dalton. I know. He's never happy. Robbie for is Dalton. a nar textbook narcissist. I am not a narcissist. Ooh, wait, I'm happy wait, for you. Wait 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 wait, 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 wait. I am beaming like a proud parent. Wait, this like is a proud great. boy. Yeah. Let, let, <laughs> Wait, you should guys should change the name to the Proud Boys. We're the Loud Boys. Yeah, but change it to the Proud Boys. No, mm -hmm. it's like we got a we got like this like hilarious like podcast animation where the P in Proud Boys like gets adjusted and transforms into an L. <laughs> and, Joe, yeah. honestly, that's such a good idea. <laughs> <laughs> yes. And then like the that American is... flag burns, and then it's like the pansexual flag replaces it. <laughs> <laughs> and it's like, well, and it's like, welcome to 2021, bitch. <laughs> is there a pansexual flag? Yeah, it's it's really weird looking. What is it? Is it, it looks just, stupid, dude. Come on. What, is it as a rainbow? Or no, it's like fucking pink and like light blue. It's like light pink and light blue and white. Yeah, you it's know what's a, crazy is like I did get booked on a lot of like non-gender binary pansexual Zoom shows because I came out as pansexual on Facebook, and then I later came out as gay. <laughs> Are you serious? Yeah. Dude. And I posted it. that I was gay, and everyone believed me <laughs> with, a, with very little prompting. And, 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 Cause I'm gay, dude. I'm a, I'm a homo. <laughs> and Joe po and it posted like a lot of people are asking if I'm gay, and yeah, I'm thinking I'm gay, which is a John Wick quote. So he came out of the closet. Joe, if you're gay, in a why? John Wick quote, and people believed him. See, that's what's great about podcasts. I tell black black people to listen to podcasts, especially like if you, because the, the best way to know your enemy at this point. Wait, you can get a podcast on a next telephone. <laughs> <laughs> Five ninety nine a month. It's <laughs> exclusive content. <laughs> Fuck, I, why am I month. like this? <laughs> People I endorse. I'm like when Obama shot the three in the corner and I at Joe Biden. I, I endorse this young man for the sake of comedy. <laughs> and high quality, you know me. I'm a high. I love racism. I love two things: equality and racism. And this man toes the line in between it. You, my friend, there. You like uh. there was a point. You ever that old photo of Larry Bird and Dr. J choking each other? No. I maybe I, I think of. I really want to get that photo poster for you in your room, because right now. I feel like there was a point in that I heard Dr. J talking about that he knew that Larry Bird really wanted it. And that's why I don't contest you because your racism is so high. <laughs> your hate is so, you're so funny. And I'm also a little tired that I'm just letting you rock, man. But Thank the, you. The, but next time I come out here, me and the Black Israelites are about to fuck you up. I, <laughs> I expect You're nothing less. Kwanzaa candle up your ass. How did Joe yeah. get away with all that stuff? Um, though? <laughs> it's different, dude. I'm a, I'm a Wakanda forever type of guy, dude. I'm, that's just the kind of guy I am. I'm ingrained in black Wakanda culture. Sykes. I'm all about. <laughs> <the> <laughs> I we love are all over the place. <laughs> People, fifteen dollars for a T-shirt. <laughs> we should Wakanda make a T-shirt. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Thanks, man. Wow, this is... Whew. You guys gotta go on the road with this. We're, we're, we're going be on so much fun. We're going to we're going to we're going to uh, New Jersey. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> to see to see a movie. Yeah. Stress factory gives me in the parking lot. We're Did, doing, no, uh, we're uh, doing uh, Astoria and Greenpoint. <laughs> <laughs> we're all over, man. We're going on the road. Yeah. 
We should go on the road and do do uh, the tiny penis tour. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> What's that? We there's a venue in Bushwick that's blowing up right now cuz of the outdoor stuff. It's called the Tiny Cupboard and we were just laughing about what if we started a oh, show. Oh, so yeah, 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 yeah. Somebody told me about that. Okay, yeah. Yeah, and we were just laughing about what if we started a show called the Tiny Penis like right across the street. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Bro. You should do it. Yeah, I, we're doing I it said. because making dreams happen during COVID, you will never get a chance to do. It. I'm, I'm for real with this. Uh, I feel like live comedy is in such a bad place right well, now. I would though. just do the tiny penis at the tiny cover. That'd be so. Funny. Yeah, dude. We we should pitch that show to them. Okay, let's do it. We book. It's only too cold though. We yeah, book- comedy's outdoor comedy is dead. Yeah, it's over, man. You, no. I feel like you're ready for all that. I did it already. I've you, done you everything. You did it like twice, and now you're like, you're okay with it? I, there's nothing left for me to prove, Kasim. I've done it. I, done I it? reached the top and had to so stop. So now all you do is just sit out your window and on Facebook Live. I vape. He actually sits on his porch like an old black guy, just staring at people. Wait a minute. That's where I draw the line. Black, it's not because yeah. black people sit on porches. Yeah. Oh, fuck. I fucked. Oh, I went too far. That was too I, far. That's, oh, the part, that's the part to me that the letters will come in. You know yeah, what I'm I did not mean that. I meant that. You mean everything Woo! you said. I, it, man. I have yeah. royally fucked up. Yeah, come on, Dalton. I Dalton. do like you because, like, you are. I feel like what Michael Rappaport would love to say. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh, no. That, all right. I'm so, look, we have to do better. We, look. Like, you just are there, bro. I, I like you, man. It's like you got Tim Dillon hair. You know <laughs> oh, I mean? you do. Yeah. You basically are. You are the new. He's actually what happened when Tim Dillon and Shane Gillis, like, uh, anamorphed. Tim Gillis. <laughs> Tim, I'm Tim, Gillis. Tim Gillis. <laughs> yeah. Fuck, I didn't... All right, let's rewind. When did, you, when did you drop out of college? I graduated college in 2017. Was what degree? Broadcasting? English. Yeah. 2017? Mm-hmm. Wow. I, I was in college for six years. Oh, okay. That's From, not bad. Yeah. That's not bad. Whoa, I was like, I'm not that much older. Oh, no master's? No, just a bachelor's. But I switched... Wait, how long? I, six years. Oh, that's not... But I switched majors terrible. like... F- Three or four years into college, how would you do that? Because I just I couldn't hang with what I was what doing. Was your first, what was your first major? I think Biochemistry. Oh. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Damn. Yeah, you, you had, and you had Indian aspirations. Yeah, you know? I did. Yeah. 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 Like, for yeah. sure, dude. Did you, did you immediately go into college with a declared That's the name major? Neil Nanda special. <laughs> 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 Yo, I heard this crazy story that uh, that uh, there's this there was this Netflix there's a Netflix competition show, mm-hmm. and uh, he. Is I mean, if it airs, I don't know if he won it, but he got really far. Neil, yeah, I believe the it. Judges like loved him. Yeah, you know, Neil's so like, like Neil's a guy who will make a any like he's perfect for like network TV. Honestly, the best. Yeah, the best. I mean, it's like him. Guess you know. Guess I don't know. People people hate on him, but I like Neil because he understands that, and he's just gonna still talk about who he wants to talk to. He understands it's his time. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. That and we gotta quit doing that as comics. It's like. Craig is sitting there talking all day, like figure out what he's doing. Because mm. he took the you know Andrew Schultz approach. Yeah, well, he opened for Schultz, I think, like briefly. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he he's the one who told me about Andrew Schultz. He was like, "You gotta listen. This guy's the best." And I was like, right. <laughs> <laughs> "Who's wait? Who's this?" Neil Nanda. He's a he's an LA comic. He came, he came up to San Francisco a lot too, but I knew him in LA. Um, oh, he's, I met him. In I gotta San be Francisco. honest. He just I am spiraling ever since that porch comment. Yeah, you I, really I don't even get why is that racist. It, be, I mean, it's, it's these guys are, is that tiptoeing dangerously close to oh, a, to a slur. Yeah, dude. Oh, the clerk's too slur. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm so sorry. No, well, you're fine. Well, apologize, dude. Oh wait, Don, I think yeah, you turned your mic can off. Yeah, can you? Can you? Did I? Oh, did we? No, we so didn't not, pick not it up. Not only that, just we now, also didn't now. get Dalton's apology. It's like this way, I got away the cans, man. It's like you didn't really. It'd be great. Like next episode, there's just a podium. You just someday we're gonna have to give an apology. Someday we're not gonna me, have to, like, dude. I ain't apologizing for shit. I'm gonna Jeff Dunham you, dude. I'm just a. I'm just, just have you like puppet. Oh, like I'm, gonna, <laughs> I'm sorry. Yeah. I'm gonna say like I'm like I'm sorry. Is it against the law to be goofing? Because that's all I'm. I'm just goofing, I'm man. Joke Gorman, Wait, d- there's like no way. If you 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 hear what I'm saying on a podcast. You're like this guy means oh in his God. heart, Joe. You everything he says. I interrupt you. You didn't feel this, but you spit on the spit because Travel hit me right here. Kasim, uh oh. We're gonna me. have to end the podcast. Kasim, I apologize. Bro, we're gonna have to end the podcast. God, I know I'm gonna get co- tested before I get on the plane. You but might need it, to. 
I'm like, I really, I'm not it even really kidding. just hit me right I'm not here. even kidding. You're going to have to get You're going to have to get tested gonna have to get for tested. the curse that mustache. Joe brought with him back from Japan. Kazim, I apologize. You will have to get tested. Yeah. Joe was eating bats earlier. Yeah. <laughs> We're... <laughs> He got him. Why did I have? <laughs> why did I ask if Taco Bell had any bat? Yeah. <laughs> Can I get a Crunchwrap Supreme? Do you have bat as an alternative meat instead of chicken? It would be funny to just deep fry the bat, right? Oh, there. absolutely! Yes. I would love to eat bat. Honestly, like now, I want to try it more than ever because it's so too. forbidden and naughty. Like a naughty sodomy. food. I would feed bat to my lover. Would you, Kasim? No. Why not? Wait, now let me think about I it. Would, I would feed bat. To my lover? I would feed bat to my wife. Like, wow. I want that yeah. bitch to fucking die, huh? <laughs> Fellas, huh? <laughs> hey, this guy looks like his wife could use a bat right now. Yeah. Hey, uh, thanks for coming out. I huh? would love if you went overseas to China and just try to really work that out. <laughs> I'm like, yeah. oh, Mugu Gai Pan? What kind of bat is in that? <laughs> That'd be so funny to be an international comedian, like, trying to pander to Chinese people. Like, who here loves eating bat? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> How you gonna eat a bat? Yeah. Who here likes not accepting credit or debit cards? <laughs> <laughs> Who here likes delivery minimums? Yeah. <laughs> Who here likes squatting and smoking on the sidewalk? <laughs> Who here likes being a nu- Who here likes being a nuisance on the subway? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Who here likes digging for plastic bottles out of the trash can? <laughs> Who here likes putting pee pee in coke? Is <laughs> 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 that a Chinese comedy jam? Yeah. 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 Ah! Yeah. <laughs> Showtime. Who at likes the- playing snot rockets in the public? <laughs> Showtime, you know I mean? Showtime at the Aparo. <laughs> <laughs> For $20, you get a cameo. Right? <laughs> Dude, Showtime at the Aparo is very good. <laughs> Thank you. Showtime at the Sobraro. <laughs> oh, that's the Italian. Oh, uh, yeah. yeah. Showtime, hey. at, Showtime at the Sombrero. Which is <laughs> 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 a siesta. Yeah. <laughs> Just everybody taking a nap. <laughs> it's showtime. We should it's go to Sparrow. Sparrow on 42nd yeah. closed. Sparrow Damn. sucks. There's so many good pizza places. Mamma mia, how could you say that? I thought you were a New Yorker, You're going to say that in front of Mario? I'm sorry. A true New Yorker. True New Yorkers love Sparrow. You're right. That's true. That's a New York institution. Okay. I needed this because I haven't really been. I've been running and ripping. Like I got about two more days here. Yo. Where? What is the restaurant I should be? I before you ever been this place, uh, Olive Garden? On- <laughs> no, <laughs> honestly, <laughs> I would recommend if Kasim, you if you like, you go to Olive Garden. <laughs> shut up! Shut up! They got. I want you to get serious now that we're talking. They got. They got this dish. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. The tour of Italy. <laughs> okay, bro. <laughs> Look into the camera a little you bit because you've been avoiding it. You get looking. the tour of Italy, but let me tell you something. The rookie mistake. You get the tour of Italy as is. We have options. You want to go. Customize it and add meatballs to the tour of Italy. That's a complete meal. And let your friend Robbie have one, which Joe did. I hear. <laughs> now, that, now that we're talking about food, I want to get serious. I, okay. Yeah, I feel like this is where you. Yeah. Like this is, this you is where shine. he shines. Yeah. Oh it, man, when you get Dalton and Zach Amico off on certain restaurants, <laughs> I would say if you're looking for Chinese food, check okay. out. Go to Chinatown. Check out Wohop. Wohop is good. Uh, Wohop. Wohop from Wuhan. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hop, <laughs> Wo hop on Wo hop. It's Wo when you hop, hop on Mott Street. Street. That's kind of like okay. the big Chinese place in New Wo York. Big China. There's also Namwa. That's a dim, like one of the first dim sum places. Vanessa's yeah. dumplings is good too. Vanessa's dumplings, quiz. deluxe, deluxe green bow. Me likey. Deluxe green bow. Me likey. Yeah. You have okay. Me likey. Um, if you're looking for Italian, yeah, yeah. Little, little Frankie's here in the East Village oh, is very yeah. good. <laughs> little Frankie the comedian. Yeah. Yeah. Little yeah, Frankie the comedian. Uh, what else is there? If you go to Greenpoint, which is way out in Brooklyn, though, there is a there is a. Pizza I'm in place. downtown Brooklyn, so let's go. Uh, wait, what neighborhood? No, are you? downtown. That's far from. Yeah. No, no, no. You could take that G. Honestly, it's worth just, just going to Greenpoint, walking around is fun. But Greenpoint, if you want a good slice, go to Polly G's in Greenpoint. Polly G's. You, you know what? The quintessential you, New York slice, though. You go to Joe's in uh, Union Square. Uh, that place is pretty good. Oh, too. That's a really good. Uh, but if you want good Polish food, because Greenpoint's a Polish or the or the or the, or the rare air over here, Polish. Yeah. Okay. If you want really good Polish food, yeah. go to Karzma. It's right off of the Karzma. Greenpoint Avenue. What would stop. I order at Karzma? I would recommend they have like a uh, Polish platter. I forget what it's called, but it's like a little sampler of all the good Polish foods. You get sausage. I don't know even know what Polish Polish. It's like sausage. Damn, I want to go to this place. Hunter this stew. Great. You get um, potato pancakes. You get some pierogies. Mm-hmm. I'm hungry. Um, oh, I'm hungry too. Let's now. go. Yeah, Karzman's really good Polish food. 
Damn. Where? What's another good restaurant? Uh, I. The the Louis Pizza place called Ben's is Ben's fun. Pizza in Greenwich I, Village yeah. is really Louis? good. You I remember, don't. You I any don't, opening credits of yeah, Louis? Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah uh, that's actually a pretty good pizza. I, place. I, I, I'm not going there because they refuse to take Louis's photo off the <laughs> wall, and I'm like, I want to eat a slice of a, pizza, not look at a rapist. Well, they also have a drawing. Of, they have a big drawing of a bunch of comedians and Cosby's in there, so that's cool too. Yeah. Oh, have you? <laughs> yeah. What? Well, they have like a fuck it, you know that like like it's like a Simpson style, like every single comedian okay. is like colored in, and Cosby's on there. So what now? It's wh- the Louis Pizza place, and they got Cosby on the wall. So mm-hmm. double whammy, but it's a really good pizza. Really Ben's, good pizza. it's right by the cellar. Yeah, that's a fun area just to walk around. Now, too. what's the place? There's a place next to the cellar. They said is good. Yeah, the food next to the cellar. Is oh, Maroon's re- falafel y- is really yeah. good. Yeah. Well, okay. there's the restaurant above the cellar that's also pretty, Olive, Tree. Olive Tree. I've Cafe. actually never eaten there. It is really it, good it is as good as Olive Garden. No, no, nothing's no. ever as good as all. No, garden. what's better, a garden or a tree? Come on. Yeah. <laughs> a garden. I mean, a there's garden a of life. weirdly enough, there's a dive bar. I don't even know if you'd be able to get in there, but there's a dive bar in Williamsburg called no, the no Commodore. Black I, was, I was trying to, yeah. I, was, I was really almost there. I'm They're like, like oh, hey, what are you doing here, pal? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's a fucking dive bar with an eye patch just cleaning a fucking. Where the hell are you coming? Yeah. 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 Dive bars. Oh, hey, hey. <laughs> Dive bars Ooh. are for rich white people pretending to be poor only. <laughs> 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 only podcasters. Yeah, here. yeah. Only open mic comics. And art students and podcasters. <laughs> Well, there's Damn, a I love bars. There's a dive bar in Williamsburg called the Commodore that has one of the best fried chicken sandwiches I've ever had. Oh, better than fried Popeyes? Chicken? Huh? I think yeah, it's better than Popeyes. Oh, uh, Popeyes fried sandwich. Yeah, that's a good sandwich. That is a good so. sandwich. Yeah. Uh, oh, get the Migos, ma- <laughs> the Migos <laughs> meal at Popeyes. Yeah. I recommend that as a New York treat. No, so, wait, here's a sidebar. You know how like rappers get their own meals and all mm-hmm. that stuff? So as a comedian, if let's say Joe Gorman, you yeah. get famous, famous, yeah. famous. And you get the McDonald's deal. Ooh, what, what's in it's your, just the tour of Italy. Okay, I already know this one. Uh, double quarter pounder with cheese. Add bacon. Okay. Twenty piece McNugget, and the most delicious thing of all, a Shamrock Shake, and top it off with some pussy, baby. <laughs> That's what I want to fucking eat. You know what I'm talking about? The magic is opening that bag. Yeah. Hey, how about a little Happy Meal for adults? Put a little. Pussy in there, huh? Ronnie uh, Mack, are you listening? Yeah. I want to eat some pussy. How about hey, a happy ending meal? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I got really excited talking about food. I was really into it. I got excited yeah. talking about but pussy. We got to get back to the riffs. Uh, <laughs> yeah, okay. So wait, what else did Joe do when he was drunk? <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay, okay. I love I loved these. Okay, so Joe. Okay. Okay, let's go back. Okay. I was just gonna say like we should go to that all you can eat sushi place after. Oh, this. Kiku? Is yeah. it closed? Uh no, it's no, over. no, I had a big lunch. Let's do it on the weekend. Let's Guy. go to the Empire State Builder right. and then get Kiku before. All right. Ooh, me Reiki. Yeah. Not uh, racist, Kasim. I can do that now. <laughs> Cause I'm Asian. Now. <laughs> You're everything. I know, I'm, I'm an like you could become a black woman, and it would I almost kind of make I'll, sense. How great would that be? Like a gay, Medea says the n word. A gay <laughs> black woman that is a man that is a robot. I can do just that. do anything now. You really, oh, you really can. I'm more free than any ever. You probably might be the most free American. I know. Yeah, Joe truly. is truly free. In, in so I'm so yeah, man. Joe, Damn. Joe's ego. I feel like total ego, true <laughs> ego death. You know what I mean? Like I've never yeah. met anyone. Like, yeah, you just don't. You seem just like, everything's like super. The only chill. person there, you know, only people I know who talk like you, guys who work at batting cages. <laughs> That's those are chill human beings, man. And I swear to God, batting cage guys have been working there more than two or three years. Like they're there. That's on their resume. I they get say whatever cages. they want. Gun shop owners. <laughs> These are my favorite places. Like a gun and shop w- owner in a Grand Theft Auto video game. And what? ugly lady cops. Ooh, nice. Yeah, you're really interesting, uh, dude. I love cops. I love guns. I love batting cages. <laughs> Bring it all together. Yeah. And you have <laughs> softball. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> <laughs> it was like, you Played do. by the ugly lady cops. Yeah. <laughs> like my ugly lady cops. <laughs> <laughs> my cops, my cops, my cops. <laughs> <laughs> That would be great, though. It was like, because they, they always try to make these, like, there's a new cop show with Gabrielle Union, some other lady, where it's like, hot oh, lady cop. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Gabri- and uh, Jessica Alba. Is it Jessica Alba? Isn't it? Yeah. No. Yeah. No. I'm pretty sure it's Jessica Alba. How much you want to bet? Camel's in it. I'll a bet. kiss. 
I would. <laughs> you know what? Yeah. Okay. All right. If it's or to, or if you're wrong, well, you have to do rec room for a dream. Ass, ass. <laughs> all right, all right. And but like, get, all right. If it's Jessica Alba, you have to give me an open mouth we, kiss on the podcast. I don't care, dude. All right, do it. Look yeah. it up, dude. Oh, I like this. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Folks, and visit. Like, and like, I don't know if you guys know, in the gay, in the black community, it's very wrong to be gay. <laughs> Yeah. Well, luckily, so because he might get excommunicated by yeah, Robbie, they don't go for that gay shit. Yeah, we're Uh-oh. not there with that. There's Uh-oh. no gays in Iran. He's gonna be like, I don't have any connection. I don't have any. Uh, okay. Like, I don't... Okay. Uh oh. For the record, I okay, I do Gabrielle. have black relatives. What? <laughs> yeah. Servants <laughs> don't count as <laughs> <laughs> right. No, I've got yeah. I, um. I mean, by marriage, but yeah, the, I have. Oh, okay, okay. What's what's up? Uh, so you got like a? Is your sister married too? My, I've got some cousins that are black. Like my cousin married a. a black hey, what, what, do you, what do you say to them when you say hi to them? L- what's up, cuz? <laughs> Wait a minute, <laughs> L.A.'s finest. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. I think Jessica Alba is my wife to be. <laughs> <laughs> this rock star shit is a life for me. Uh-oh. All these guys despise me because these. Uh-oh. Kasim is furious. <laughs> oh, now y'all have to furious. kiss. <laughs> Joe and Kasim sitting in a tree. K-I-S-S-I-N-G. K- Kasim. K-A-S-S-E-M. <laughs> 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 I'm just trying to do the best I can. <laughs> be an asset to my community, be an outstanding citizen for young black men, and this is what I have to do. <laughs> Dude, uh, I was look. I w- I marched in the Soho riot. Okay. What? <laughs> yeah, dude. How I was. Twenty seven. There uh, was a riot here like dude, five months ago. <laughs> okay. Like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. The like, portrait like, of Dorian yeah, Gay. Sound like a dear dad with a well deserved cop. You know what I mean? Like, I feel yeah. like if it was like, like a movie, like a real towny kind of movie, like you would play like the guy. Like, Wait, talk into yeah, your microphone. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I was like. <laughs> Kasim's doing some real like. Ever since, right, let me get real yeah. with you guys. Yeah, <laughs> I'm like, I'm trying to help him like some real yeah, like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I want to help you. Yeah. you know what I mean? Ever since Kasim found out he has to kiss me on the mouth. That's the, you know why? That's the version. You're... What Kasim just says the version is the podcast version when a comic sits down on the stool to get real. Yeah. <laughs> 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 I'm so sad because I, I guess it. To, I will do it. You don't have to. No, no, no. I can I'm see, a man of my word. I, but I know, like, I know, like, the. We're community. trying to do numbers. We're trying to Wait, do numbers. Oh, I was going to say, though, I am an ally. I did march in the. I was in the Soho riots earlier this year. What I, is that, bro? I don't even know what the we, fuck there that was, is. It was a BLM protest. I've, I've, I've only heard Dalton refer to it as the Soho riots. That was, yeah. that was, uh, <laughs> it was, Dalton's been the only, but that was Robbie's birthday. Yeah. yeah. Like, he, he's wait, out and get high with us. Wait, wait, wait. So you hate Robbie so much. You didn't even celebrate, but you want to go march. Exactly. You didn't want to go march. You just didn't want to be around him. He That's wanted. It, he, he was No, like, shut up. There was a girl he was trying no, to fuck. No, 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 See that? No, 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 It's all good. I mean, people go to. I was down there with them. I was not. I was not down. I was near looking at those Oakland or the riots in Oakland, and they were bit. What they were like uh, vandalizing the Walgreens, and it was so funny to see a dude. In frame in the back, like, hey girl, can I fuck you? Right, and yeah. it was like, yeah. it's, I could, it's all. Angry. I mean, it was hold just, on, it, it was bad time. It, my birthday was like the day after George Floyd. Let me, was let killed. me finish. Yeah, very I, inconvenient. Yeah, I, <laughs> like, I got a lot of it's messages. Like, if the guy just, if the guy just followed the rules, Robbie could have had a birthday. Yeah, I know. But- <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I, that's that's Derek Chauvin's biggest crime, ruining my birthday. <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait. <laughs> let, hold on. I do. I want to say I mar. I was in the riot that broke out right after George Floyd's death. Would you take? And I, I want to say I only looted black-owned businesses. <laughs> <laughs> you, ha- you have to. You have to say that on stage. <laughs> Wait, please. Although that's kind of similar 
to Joe his, his statue story. Yeah. Uh oh, <laughs> dangerously oh, close. Whoa. Uh oh, is that some parallel thinking, Daltanian? What do you hear? What happened with Joe? He tore down a statue. What are you talking about? But it was... like the during the protest because I was in Harlem. I uh, everyone was like tearing down statues in Central Park. So you grabbed the rope too? Yeah, I was. Well, like no, I was there. I was like, I got ahead of everyone, so I was tearing down a statue. But later, I feel I, like you were not there. No, I was fucking. Dude, no, no, I this is true. This is true. Hold we on. have an outdoor in, show. No, there were all these Instagram photos. Christine, let me finish. And I this fucking is a story. So I tore it down, and then later I found out uh, it was a statue of Frederick Douglass. <laughs> 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 you know what? <laughs> when I, I fell, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. It's like you're waiting for your friend to come, you're looking for cars. Yeah. yeah. Like, oh, that's a black actor. I just love black actor. And he's like, I saw it coming, but, I, but it, you fucking got me. And you know, all right. This is <laughs> Kasim, you're my best friend. Through thick you and thin. I've, I've known you longer than anyone else. I've known you since 2006. I'm be honest. 2006? I, I, yeah. Canvas Galleria. Okay, here's what's great about okay, I, okay, I, I met you guys. Here's like, what's great. Joe, this is what's funny about Joe. Joe, in the beginning, I don't know what happened, but you and Kevin O'Shea were as thick as Oh, him. what happened? Uh, he just got passed at the punchline before me. Wow. Now, was that the, is that the, that is was that, like, that, was that big, what happened? That was a big thing. No, no, was that the, because you guys, you guys, used to, these, Kevin hosted, there was a Kevin O'Shea show. Yeah. And he was a sidekick. Blah, blah, blah. A talk show. It was great. And Joe was coming to his own. And it gets all dissipated. We always wonder, like, what happened yeah. with you two. I wonder what happened, too, to a, a big extent. Like, you you guys were on a double date once. And who was the one with the really huge tits? Was I remember I saw you there at that the... That was at, Joe. At, <laughs> $30. <laughs> <laughs> you get, you get, <laughs> show for, when shows are happening, you get half off. <laughs> uh, you were on a double date, and you were with, the girl who had the huge tits, I think, was your date. Damn, I Since didn't know you fucked this much, Joe. It was back Joey, in the day. Joe, fuck. Joe fucked like he was going to jail for 30 years. You know, <laughs> you know what? Oh, he, he is. Joe gives me girl advice, and it's always really good advice. Yeah. Yeah, yeah like, don't take no for an know answer. Joe in the Bay, I would find out way after who you fucked, and I would ask the Lord, since she was a lady comic, like, really? like Not like bad, but what was it? it, it won't say the names, but this one was like, it was... A Joe, the word around town was Joe was a great fuck. Really? Yeah. Damn, dude. Yeah. Joe really reinvented himself out here because yeah. he doesn't fuck at all. <laughs> Are you getting the action you did not today? Well, no, not not nearly the action. It's really? different. And like I've only been like hooking up with people outside of comedy, like not even like. Yeah, because you weren't seeing like comedy in comedy. Yeah. You were but like I, I figured like it's like okay, well I'm just gonna marry this person and then we're just gonna go on tour perpetually forever. Kind of like uh, what Moshe Kasher did with Natasha Legero. Yeah. But I was like, okay, now I just need to marry a significantly more successful comedian, and and then I'll be good. <laughs> we'll see. Nikki Glaser is available. I know, but she's out of my league. <laughs> She'd have to work up to get to you, right? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. That's it. Yeah. Nikki, yeah, step Nikki up is... your game a little bit, okay? You could fuck the girl from Red Scare. Who? Yeah. Oh, Dasha? Yeah. Dasha or Anna. Dude. You could have either one of them. I don't think so. Just go yeah. podcasters. Okay. Yeah. I'm going full podcaster now. Yeah, let's, dude. Let's have them on. You should fuck right. Amber from Chapo Trap House. Okay, I'm in. <laughs> let's let, let's. Who's set hotter, this up. Dasha or Anna? Dasha. Dasha. Yeah. Dasha, definitely Dasha. She has an OnlyFans. Does she? I don't know. I wish. Damn. I would have known. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We shouldn't. Speak of these people. R.I.P. Right, no, they speak. They no, yeah, they, they speak, speak of us, dude. Yeah, I met Dasha. We talked good for a friend. long time. One good time. friend, good friend of the cool. pod. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Good friend of the pod. You yeah. seem like you're in a committed relationship. He, Robbie like, is. Robbie does committed. have a little. Robbie is. Robbie's got himself a little girlfriend that's, right now. That's, uh, no, that's not it's true. It's a very. It's getting kind of serious. That's, no. He doesn't mm-hmm. want to talk wait, wait, about wait. it. Has he? Has he? Has she written it as Ben's? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Robbie, do you remember what you told me? Fuck, I don't know if I could. Don't say. You anything. said something serious. That's one of the fun. God damn it. Wait, said, I was joking. You know, I was, that was like doing all bits. It wasn't a bit. Yeah, that. Yeah, that was a bit. What he you said. Showed us the engagement ring he bought. <laughs> I went. I, it was. I went on two dates with a girl. <laughs> this is insane. But you told you told me, <laughs> dude, Robbie. You told me something Saturday. That you probably don't remember telling me. No, I remember. I was so messed up on Halloween. Fuck. Yeah, I'll say it off, Mike, because it's yeah. so funny. It's dude. amazing. 
I uh, don't. I'm going to spiral. I hate getting back things I said that I, when I was drunk. It, but it was so... Uh, all right. I shouldn't have brought it up. Yeah. <laughs> is it incriminating? It's not incredibly gr- Robbie so. probably just doesn't want his business out there, but I it's, it's I'm very so guarded. funny. I, I like having my... I don't care about my business. Guarded and you're on the podcast talking cash shit about everybody? Well, that's what makes it work. Dalton says everything. Joe... Joe... <laughs> I'm comfortable saying everything. You may not be, so I'm not, not going to... Man, I just keep my, my fucking boat in the river and wherever the current goes, man. I'm just enjoying the ride. I could give a fuck. Yeah. I'm not going to be like, oh, oh, my canoe, where am I going? It's like, whatever, dude. I'm yeah, going to die anyway. Yeah, you, you kind of I'm like, with you there, you man. Know, the way you Huck talk Finn. is like the way, the reason why people want to shut down Reddit. You know what I mean? Because well, it's so cool. Because it makes a lot of sense and people aren't it ready to them. give up their nine to five mentality. They, yeah. They aren't ready to take off the shackles of society. The high yet. strung nerds yeah. want to shut down your speech because yeah. you're dropping too many truths. People are against my free speech. Do you, are, do you identify as like a hippie kind of guy, Joe? Yeah. No, not at all. That's Joe like, is a hippie. Even though like I feel like a lot of like what I'm into is like. There's like you know, a hippie ish, but it's yeah. not full. It's hippie. like an angry hippie. Yeah. It's like an you're angry. You're an evil hippie. hippie. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Where it's like hit the bong, man. Yeah, <laughs> it's is like, laced with fucking PCP. Yeah, it's like a PCP or fucking that fucking fake. You're weed a Manson hippie. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Part of the Manson family. <laughs> Joe, I'm all right with that. It's all gonna work out, man. I just kill my enemies. <laughs> yeah, I could be like a cult leader somewhere, you know, on some like reserve. Yeah. I'd be down with that. You like, should get that. the Reddit logo tattooed on your forehead, right? That Just like Manson. Instead of Manson swastika. <laughs> yeah, it's yeah. A fucking, or the 4 chance. Yeah, yeah. yeah, you have to tell people it's, it's, it's a message board of peace. <laughs> <laughs> that would be a dope shirt, though. All that in every incel logo gets like on a yeah. shirt. It's like all, pl- all like NASCAR. It's like, is there a way? I don't know. Is there a 4 what the, What's the 4 chan logo look like? It's like just fours. It's like, it it's like, like a, flowers. Yeah, it's like a four leaf clover, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. it's know. kind of tilted like the as it like a swastika a little, a little bit. bit. Yeah, it's mm. an Irish swastika. Swastika. Oh, oh, swastika. Oh, sw- Barack o swastika. Barack o swastika. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, you know, uh, I got a solution for that. <laughs> <laughs> he just sinks a basket. Yeah, yeah. yeah. He's like, <laughs> he, kills, he k- kills a bunch of Jews. That's what I do. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I do. <laughs> Damn, dude. It's, it's that picture. The ball of, turns into a drone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and then it just flies over to the Middle East. That's what I do. Uh, Dude, I go. If if you like your concentration camp, you can keep it. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, it's that that picture of Obama and everybody in the Situation Room, like watching what's happening on the screen. It's just a live feed from a gas chamber. <laughs> 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 He's just like, mm. train Auschwitz. You didn't build that. <laughs> oh man. What do you guys hope for tomorrow, this week at the election? Who am I voting for? All right, I voted for I Biden. I know you're going Biden. I'm gonna go vote. You tomorrow. are interesting. No, I, I mean, I I feel like you're not going to vote because you don't want, you can't stand that long. <laughs> 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 oh, my. oh, my God. Uh, you didn't even realize how funny that is because Dalton also has fucked up feet. Dude, my feet are so fucked up right now. <laughs> oh, you do? Yeah. Dude. Oh, oh, I'm so- <laughs> dude, I genuinely, the thought of standing in line right now terrifies no, me. No, because he's laser beam. No, that's, like, that's how what, good of a roast comic. What do you have? Is. You have like fake toes or something? No, I wish, man. You, got, like, you have diabetes? No, I've. He has uh, a mild toe. I, I, <laughs> what do you have? Like, I, I have a, I have a form of muscular dystrophy that like affects your extremities, and it's like deformed my feet. What do your feet look like? They're like all curved inward. They're like inward, curved <laughs> inward, curved <laughs> inward. They actually say inward. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like he goes to the beach, look at him up his feet, and it's like, yeah, <laughs> yeah, like, yeah we gotta kick that feet's ass. <laughs> he has yeah. to pixelate his That's feet it. online. When I get home at night, I'm like, oh my, are barking. Yeah, it's Dalton. Sells- wait, are you wearing? T- wait, what's happening? Yeah, so. I am wearing two different Wait a shoes. Is this some new hipster shit? I'm no, doing? no, no. I I got an ingrown toenail and I just put on a shoe that was more comfortable. You live here. I live in Bushwick. And you, you, wait, wait. So you got an Uber or you took the train? With took two, the train, yeah. Do people give you money on the train or do they ask if you're okay? <laughs> no, dude. You Nobody want, cares. This is some wavy shit. Can you actually, could you put that foot on the table? This is some real wavy shit. Like fabulous. You're like, you're, so you got the one Mizuno. I mean, and then the other Mizuno. And you got. That it's kind of cool. Yeah. It is. You you might be on some new, new shit. Well, yeah, they dude. look like they match, but they don't. Look at me influencing black culture. 
I do feel like you are a lightweight streetwear influencer. Yeah, right? dude. It's true. Dalton's oh. a hype beast. I'm a hype beast. <laughs> I want to joke at his shoes thinking I just started Maybe doing that. Maybe I should make oh, yeah. bad fashion now who's <laughs> Now who's jealous of Dalton, Joe? Yeah. <laughs> I actually, on the real... If you walked around, because you might not see this, but if you walked around, as I see in downtown Brooklyn, and you walking around this, because you do look like this outfit could be $900, and you don't know it. Because mm-hmm. you're walk, it looks like this could be a rare shirt, just some actually, and then the jeans, and you're walking around with two shoes, and you have just that, you know, I don't know what to call the hair, just, I don't know, like, Yeah, intolerant. Dalton's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Dalton's cool. Yeah, you got a cool vibe, dog. Thank like, you. Like, this is yeah, and you know what I'm saying? It's like, it's all good, man, but I like the two shoes. Yeah, thank you. I mean, Robbie's always fashionable. Oh, thank you. Robbie, I, do, oh, I, I do. like how much Kasim's hyping us up. Oh, no, I, I love you, Rob. Rob. Rob, it's like the how you're building. I can't mm-hmm. believe your ego is on 10. Oh, thanks. I have high ego, but I have low Dude, self-esteem. Your, your ego Saturday night was on, cranked what all the way to say? 11. What did you just out him? You Well, no, because Saturday you kept saying like, yeah, I was like the best one of the night. I was the best one of the night. <laughs> but you just you kept saying it to the point where I was like, okay, dude. <laughs> what did you you guys? It was like sex? a roast character show, okay. and well, what what place was? I that? just feel like I'm so underrated that when I have that good of a set, it was at Bridge and Tunnel Brewery. You did have a good set. No, you were good, but you like afterward you kept going, man. I was like the best of the night, and oh we, yeah, you can't, yeah, you can't <laughs> that guy. Yeah, I know, I know. I was really. Hyped but were up. you the best of the night? Just keep it super real. I, w- I would say it was close. I don't know. I I I'm, I, I was just like really hyped on it because I was I just thought it was really funny. I was definitely like everyone was really good. It wasn't like so I don't know. It was tough. I just thought it was gonna suck and it turned out to be a good show. So yeah, that was just like really really hot. Yeah, it was like yeah, a, it, was it was really fun. It was by Act far the best audience. show I've done. How was it of the year? Out? Not at all. No, yeah. Really? Yeah. Are, we was, at, are we at that point in New York? To shoulder, but it was no, like sardine. No, are you serious? No, yes. he's joking. Well, Remember, it, it was, was out. Honestly, you know what it was like. You know what it reminded me of. Can I? Can I like not? No, no, we're Joe. He's always lying. I love it. Joe, Joe, Joe. I think I'm not gonna go for Joe. I think you need to take a chill pill. It was like it was. It was definitely like a crowd, but it wasn't packed like sardines. It was outside, but yeah, it was not. It was not socially. It was packed more like Kalamata olives. It was. Okay, now you. It's just like. All right, wait. I was a survivor from the ghost ship warehouse fire uh, a few years ago in Oakland, California, and it was exactly like being in that warehouse. <laughs> yeah. It was also, exactly like being in that warehouse of death. Don, if I could push no, back. No, no, okay, you guys don't get that. On the real, that is probably, you deserve laughs on that because this is in the Bay Area. This is a Bay Area podcast that was popular. You would, you would, that was a killer I'm line. There's, a, there's popular Bay Area podcast. I mean, you kid, that, that was a killer line. Yeah, doesn't I, W I you, come out? I give you, I give you the, I give you that was a good line. <laughs> the, the, uh, I will take that back to the bay. And then Joe said, yeah. it was like a fire. <laughs> and, the, 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 and then everyone in the Bay Area went, I miss Joe. Who were all those yeah. artists? Who were all those rich white kids died? <laughs> you know, it was like the fire where all those rich white I was, kids died. But you know what? Sad. It's funny you mention that because I was actually in the Triangle Shirtwaist factory fire here in New York in what the 1920s. <laughs> <laughs> I would, you know what? It's so great about you. How old are you now? Twenty-seven. If you just keep this in these lies, you're not. Are you single? Of course. No, no, no. You seem like a guy that could score a cool Chinese woman, buddy. You don't. E- you don't even. <laughs> <laughs> I, these guys, I'm sure, are bubbling right now. That wow. no, no. Like you a, could, doll. It's a confidence. I could. Bro. Yeah, I'm telling you, dude. There's something happens with hot women of color who just look for wait. A, a, I'm not interested. (laughs) (laughs) Where are the networks? (laughs) We want to get those racist dudes a fucking (laughs) team. I think we beat Cumtown. (laughs) <laughs> this, this, I'm telling you, when I told you, you said that they like your pod. This is you get this. I get it. These two are gonna let that go to their heads. Me, I, I'm dude, just... I'm chill about everything. <laughs> no, you are not. I'm chill about everything, dog. Bro, man. you're no, you. The way you used to be in the bay, it's like when the B12 kicks in. Yeah, and you're just like, uh, you, you were because when you were on, it was. Different. It was you scary. know what's funny is I went back to the bay at the same time as Joe, and I think that old Joe came out because you're kind of like partying a bunch and being wild. I was, and I was, like, yeah. Wait, 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 introducing me. 
Did I tell you how Joe introduced me at the punchline one time? No. He goes, this next guy I saw him at an open mic in New York, and he begged me to get on the show, so I thought I'd give him a shot. Everyone, Robbie Goodwin. And I had to, like, dig myself out of that hole for, like, two minutes. But he, uh, he did it. Hold on. In all in all seriousness, Kasim, so you're saying that black women do want to have sex with me? Yeah. More than Nice. Anything. Yeah. You, yeah. Because you're a little thick boy. Right? Okay. And you, you, you can't grow facial hair. Do black hair. girls like thick I, guys? Is that a thing? White guys, yeah. I love it. Little thick guy. And you seem like a good dude. And some black women, like especially dark-skinned black women, self-hating black women, and like you're very Aryan. You're like the men's Rochester mm-hmm. Thank Aryan. Thank you. He's got the Richard like, Spencer right now. <laughs> Dalton <laughs> is Dalton is a great guy. Yeah. He's like a genuinely good guy. Good-looking, yes. original-looking you look innocent. You look like you you go to work on time. I do. You, <laughs> he what goes you, to work on do? time. I let's not, let's not even talk about my job on this. Oh, show. Or what? It, what field is it in? Or it, was it? You should have said was. It, it's it's a um, sex work, like a customer service job. But I, it's just I want no connection from yeah, this yeah, show no, to I my job. You know what? I, so I shouldn't assume that you had a day job because you just like Joe. Joe's obviously. A house painter, you know yes. what I mean? It doesn't matter, but like, because with Joe, like, okay, wait, back to you though. If you decided, Joe is bong Jeremy. <laughs> Come on, no, dude, Come I've on. been <laughs> bon bon Jeremy, right? like, bon bon Jeremy, on. that Rick the Riveter or whatever. Like, it's like, no, this one right here. Because I've been jerking off to like Jada Fire and Naomi Banks, Pinky. Yeah. Uh, old pinky or new pinky? Old pinky. New pinky's Diamond gross, Fox. dude. Ooh, see, he gets ruined to put C. Now he gets ruined. Oh, no. New pinky is a beautiful, strong woman. Are you, are you packing? It's pinky. Give my brain. Are you packing? <laughs> packing? No, not at all, dude. At least you're, now see, that's what's going to get you. At least you're not going to sit there and lie. No, I couldn't. I couldn't even come close to delivering on the lie. Okay, that's fine. A lie for me would be like, do you want seven inches of... And then it's like, wait a minute, wait, 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 wait. Now see how this, that's, you're doing fine. No, I don't have seven inches. Oh, but I was saying if I was lying, dumb is he? Like if I was is... lying, I would say seven and only deliver maybe but you know what? five There's and a half. There's a site for women that like small dicks. Yeah. Well, what is the site? I think it's like small dicks. <laughs> Dalton, com. Small dicks. Like, dot com? Yeah, like. It's like small dick dating or something. Something like I think that. Small like, dick dating. <laughs> small dick dating, and it just redirects you to where you can buy a new like door stopper. It, it redirects you to our podcast. Yeah. <laughs> I'm trying to tell you, bro, because you look like Bill Clinton. Yeah. Young Bill Clinton. Hi. Hey. Imagine. Uh, you yeah. moved to Harlem. You want to go to an island? I, would- <laughs> <laughs> hey, I got a private jet. <laughs> You just walk around playing the saxophone. You know what I mean? You're Dude, good to go. I would, I would love to date a nice WOC. <laughs> it's awesome, dude. Yeah, man. What do you know about that? I've had sex with a black. <laughs> you know what? I, <laughs> <laughs> it's so uh, I came here, flew out here to do these interviews and then do Kasim, podcasts. Kasim, what do you like? You like white women? Of course he likes white women. He's a black man. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, we, we got to stop. We have got... Let's, Joe, let's cool Joe off Joe and Dalton are like a racist Statler and Waldorf. <laughs> 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 we're just... We're like in the balcony at like all these black shows. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> you're, you're, in, the whole you're in the balcony of a Def Jam show. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I just have to move around so much. Yeah, I've been reading some statistics. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. This theater's a high crime area now. Just showing pictures of phrenology. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> like there. And these are clearly some low information voters. <laughs> oh my god. Wait. But but for real, what kind of pussy do you like? Yeah. Uh preferably black. Mm. Okay. Mm. You know, the so we're, cut, of the we're cut from the same yeah. kente cloth. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god it's funny i used to be a tutor at a rich white school and every few weeks i'd get a fat kid white kid like you that i'd let him just rock out and I, my boss would be like why do you let i said because that's all he's got dog. You know what I'm <laughs> and, he, and i love Don't your you energy. turn off your mic again i think no How, no i didn't no never mind i would <laughs> love you having a tv spot and then no one heard it because you turned off your mic that'd be you know, so funny because like, and gets yeah. the hell ground. All the review or reavers are like, it was so avant garde. <laughs> <laughs> He's like yeah. the net. He yeah, 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 exactly. Yeah, Vice calls it like brave. 
<laughs> Challenge. Yeah. A new, a new, a new spin on miming. <laughs> <laughs> Comedy reinvented. Yeah. They, critics love dumb shit like that. Yeah, people are stupid. People dude. are stupid. People are they stupid? Dumb as fuck. Yeah. Well, people think everyone's s- wearing a mask. Of course, they're stupid. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Gino Bisconti, everybody. By the way, yeah, you think we're bad, Gino? <laughs> My dude, best I'm friend. So dude. bad Saturday night because my the, my I brought some friends with me and they were all, two of them were like very gay guys and then my friend Breck is like, I guess technically queer. I don't know. Right. She, she identifies as, uh, she fucks men and women. But, queer uh, eye for the gay guy. Yeah, but then Gino immediately opens by saying re- homophobic slurs and I'm like, yeah. sorry about Gino, guys. Your friends did not seem that into the show. No, they yeah. weren't. They wanted to leave so bad, and they left immediately after my set. Oh, wow. Awkward. Yeah. At least I saw my set. Thank God. Yeah. They were, but like, they, they, were like, they were kind of rude, though. They were like talking Ooh. over everybody. Ooh. Ooh, my friends? Yeah. yeah, Dalton's. I remember Dalton's. they were watching Joe, and they were like, why is he screaming so much? Oh, they boy. said that? <laughs> yeah. Those, I hate those fucking gutter yeah, punks, dude. Fuck <laughs> <laughs> Are you fucking serious? Why am oh, I love the it. essence of my comedy? I hate those fucking like, oh, I'm poor because I told my dad, fuck you yeah. in college, and now I have to fucking wear leather. It's like, grow up, apologize to your dad. Get a 401k and never criticize my comedy. I will fucking push you against a wall. Yeah. Do you have any idea how like how powerful I am? Dude? Also, Joe was funny. Like he had a good set. I don't know. What, set like, of my life. I don't know, man. Sorry. Yeah, dude. Why do your I friends don't suck ass, Dalton? They, Lame ass friends, they, dude. I'm sorry. I don't mean to talk shit about your friends. Yeah. I think well, it, they're not my friends. Should I cut that out? No, no it's fine. Leave it's it in just, there. Let them know I hate them. So, Kasim, <laughs> have you been able to do comedy in the Bay Area? <laughs> no, I have not. I've, I I will not do any stand-up shows. I feel like it's irresponsible. I feel it's selfish. I feel in danger of society. Uh, all the, Baby all the boy, patrons. those are all the reasons I do it. <laughs> <laughs> hey, here comes some chuckles. I'll see you in hell. I love it, dude. I love, I love the fact. I would love it if somebody was on their deathbed because of my comedy. That's funny. Would you visit? You them? literally killed. Absolutely. I'll be, like, I'll be like, hey, <laughs> come on. Here's a, here's a, it was good. It was good. My dad's yeah, going to like that. Here's a here's a coupon for uh, so you can get 15 percent off my album on iTunes. I want I'm, I'm thank you for being a, a fan. You're not going to get fucking anything, dude. Nothing's going to happen. Are you happen. out of your mind? I don't even know why I'm playing along with you. What, what, what playing? Oh, no. I don't I don't think nothing's happened to me, dude. And I'm out every day and I've never worn a mask. You know what's so great about you is like there is a point in my brain when I start thinking like I do think that Joe might really believe what he says on it's like a certain level. It depends. Sometimes he does, sometimes he doesn't, but it's always the same cadence. So it yeah, can be, it yeah, can yeah. Be never of, know. Okay, really what is that Vonnegut quote like? Uh, be careful what you pretend to be because eventually you become what you pretend to be. Yeah. Oh no. Yeah. So now Joe's <laughs> Japanese. That's now from, I'm a cool guy. That's, that's from Joe's book, Slaughterhouse Five Guys. <laughs> <laughs> that could be. That's a gay and a fat joke. Yeah. There you go. But like Joe, one thing I'll say about Joe is yes. that in the Bay Area, one time we did have a real conversation. Cause I asked. What was you, it I, like? Bro, I'm telling you, there's a couple moments in my life, real shit in comedy, and especially in the Bay Area, where I was like, this is kind of a cool moment. Is I how it was getting past the punchline. Every, every, that's uh, everyone's like everyone has that one. Everyone who got past the punchline, that's on like their moments of like. I'm I've sorry, it. it never happened for you, Joe. I did get past, doggy. You're, you were featured when you left, right? No, I was like on my way to get featured, and now it's like all shut down. But yeah. like it was in the bag. I just need to like set like the date to get it on. Yeah, because you were doing it. good. Every yeah. you were always money because it was amazing to see Joe can riff out his ass. But when he would like just do the jokes. It worked. It worked. That's why it was like really, it was great to see it. So, but one time we were talking at Milk Bar and I asked you to be very honest with me and guess it was just, we were just talking about life and all that stuff. And you just were like, okay, all right. And you just start talking about how you feel, about yourself, family, all that shit. I still didn't believe you until later because you just, you just commit. <laughs> you do. Yeah. And, but, but then I started feeling, I started getting sad for you because I started realizing, oh, Joe is really a sad ass dude. Mm-hmm. And I was like, oh, damn, dog, I shouldn't have had him open up. 
Then I had to bring you back to the rift zone. Right. And then I really never asked you to be honest again. No one should. Nobody yeah, should. I, kinda, yeah. I would like to get to that, Joe. <laughs> Everything yeah, Joe it, does is a veneer to cover up the torment that he's constantly going through. Absolutely. That's kind of all of it. Well, Dalton, you wear your heart on your sleeve, but yeah, I, I'm the same way. Yeah, Dalton's an open book. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Menu. <laughs> 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 Oh, <laughs> uh, we're back! <laughs> <laughs> that was so good. Uh, yeah. We're at an hour forty-seven. Good, merciful Christ! I think we should do eight forty-six. <laughs> he got it. I don't get it. Oh, uh, <laughs> <laughs> well, you know what? The fact that it took you so long, Robert. It really shows my privilege. I mean, yeah. I thought that was I only a, know it because yeah. I remember the Chappelle special. <laughs> I thought that was a bummer. What that happened? You're lying. No, I was like, damn, that sucks. What, when, when Why don't you do your help? version? Huh? Why don't you do your version? Of what? Of You know, comedians right now are doing this thing where it's like, yeah, due to COVID, I can't put a special... But here's just something. Oh, for I think you. it's talking about the George Floyd thing, not the Chappelle yeah. special. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so when you said, "Why don't yeah, you do dude, your version?" You... I was like, "Don't, don't, 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 don't do your version." <laughs> no. Do yeah. Your do version. not be a Derek was, Chauvin cover act. That was a, that was a bummer. <laughs> it was a bummer, man. I did I did that Blackout Tuesday thing on my Instagram. It cost me thousands of followers. <laughs> Wait a minute. I can't even see you doing a blackout anything. I did. You hate people so much. I love black people, though, now. Do you? Because I had sex with a black woman. You did not. I did. No, you did not. Yeah, I did. Her name was Shaniqua. No. Now, no. now we're, now, a, now, Joe, now we're Joe, just, now we're just, Joe, oh, we, might be, we might be racist, but we're not hacks. Yeah, come on. <laughs> yeah, <I> mean, <laughs> that's a hack name. Look, for we've, we've talked plenty of black shit on this show which i didn't want to do i didn't want to force it in that's oh, so. but you will but after the first joke you were flying i know yeah, yeah. Like a go-kart race down like yeah a, yeah like, i know like, like yeah you were you were flying with it he like, got the fucking mushroom from mario kart but let's <laughs> let's maybe shift gears kasim do you have any questions for the white man <laughs> <laughs> it's so funny to ask that question when a guy looks oh like an unseasoned God. chicken. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, it's like, I love the idea of like a racist Byron Allen. Now, <laughs> <laughs> now a little real. <laughs> now, the Jews, they I heard they might replace us. Is that true? <laughs> <laughs> That'd be so great. It's like, uh, I do have a question for you. Yes. Yeah, I'll be honest. All right. Okay. You seem like somebody that will you will make sure that you don't say anything racist outside. Now, right. I've worked in property management. And I've noticed something. When I worked in a, a building where I looked at the the numbers and I saw there's a lot of young white guys, when I pass by certain units, when white guys get together, they say basically it's a podcast, no mics, nothing recorded. Mm-hmm. It's a small shit. Uh I wanna know this. And I don't want you breaking a pact or whatever group you're a part of. What is the most racist thing in a casual conversation? Oh my god! That you did not say. I'm not. Uh, you heard. And if it's family, you don't gotta say their name. You can wink, right? You sit there. Oh, dude, I've I've I, I've got such a yeah. I've got an answer. It, do, it doesn't have to be the number one, but like something that you're like. And it was just. I mean, it surprised you. Like, let's say, have you heard something so racist from a person that you thought was so innocent and non-racist? That this exact thing has happened, to dude. Me. So here's my answer, and this 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 bothered me. Like I was like, I know I knew the guy was like kind of trying to be silly, but it even I was like, hey man, maybe we should like ch- calm down, man. Where were you? I was at a friend's house, and we were watching the uh, Mayweather McGregor pay per view. Okay. Mm. And when Mayweather won, a friend of mine from high school, I'm not gonna, I guess I can't say his name because he stands up and he's been drinking. And it seemed like he was doing this as a goof, but it felt a little too sincere for me. Yeah, I'm he, also saying you can say whatever you want because, you know. I'm not going to say what he actually said, but he flips I'm off the. I'm telling you right now. No, I don't want a recording people, of me saying. If you're saying what he said. I, I know. I'm just saying what white guys, when they don't, if they say something the person said, it's not you saying it. You're saying what he said. All right, well, he flips off the TV okay. and then just screams, I hate the uh, N words. Okay. <laughs> And then all my friends. Narcissism? Start, yep. Narcissist? Yeah, yes. Nuclear. Sure. Nuclears. <laughs> he said, he flips the TV and he goes, I hate nuclears. 
and all of my other friends were like kind of laughing at him. I'm like, guys, I don't know, man. I know there's no black people here, but maybe we should like, should we pray? <laughs> <laughs> I have a similar one where uh, I in in um, seventh grade I was. Uh, I, it was like there was an assignment, and I and the assignment was like just to profile a local business owner, and I profiled this like this sweet Italian immigrant guy, this yeah. old immigrant, and he was like so sweet, and he ran like a nice business and stuff, and I was like, you know, he was telling me all these cute stories about like coming over to the country and all this stuff, and I was like, so it was like the immigrant, he's like, oh, it's so surprising everything, everything here, you know, all these different kinds of people, and also all the, and then he said the N word, <laughs> like he just dropped it, and I was like, oh my god, this was so wholesome, and then it took a sharp left turn. I mean, I had, I mean, I. I have an even worse one that my uncle said, but <laughs> there may be one took over the line. Man. Yeah, don't mention what your uncle did. I mean, we didn't want to out him. <laughs> Everyone yeah. vote for Joe Biden. <laughs> yeah. Are you on Facebook? Yes. Go research. Are you friends with your uncle online? No, he doesn't know about the internet. Okay. Whatever. He's like super old. So I remember we he had It'd a be bunch funny if he was on TikTok. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I do remember going things. to his house as a kid and he yeah. had um <laughs> he had <laughs> doing a dance like Nazi songs. I don't even think I can <laughs> I, I, don't, I don't even think I can say it's like the German national anthem in like nineteen forty five. He's doing the dance, but he's yeah. <laughs> <Hitler. laughs> no, I remember going to his house as a kid and I can't even say the name of what these were, but he had the because it's a racial slur, but oh, all the, yeah. the dolls with the, the black... Oh, you mean like Sambo dolls? No, the Mammy dolls. Starts with a P. Bro, guess... Bro, what? See, this, say, is, yeah. this is... Okay. He this, had a bunch of what guess, they what they call pickaninnies. All right. Then say, <laughs> why do you have to be pussy about this? You, you I don't know, dude. You didn't buy it. You didn't say. You're just telling the story. I'm trying to tell you. All right, all right. You got to stop this. It's so annoying with white guilt. It's uh. like you... Shut up. Shut up. <laughs> shut up. Just shut up. All right. Kasim, if I don't have what's the opposite of white guilt? White pride? Kasim, if there's, <laughs> Kasim, if there's one advice I wish you would not give Dalton, it's be less filtered about racial racial slurs. Yeah, I'm trying to be my best I'm trying to be a good person. Yeah, we gotta yeah. we got And now we're guy. talking about my uncle's Piccaninny collection. Yeah, but yeah, but we all knew by your accent that somebody had Piccaninny. <laughs> yeah, for sure. In a collection <laughs> of them. So just just cut the bullshit. You know yeah. So your uncle's a piece of shit, said mm. that. That's cool. Joe, that, I feel like Joe, I feel like it's just you just, you've been around it. You've anticipated it. I feel like I, I am like the cause. You're like Dennis the Menace. You're like racist Dennis <laughs> the Menace. Menace to society. He's <laughs> 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 waiting for black people to be like, yeah, what the fuck? Right. Yeah. Black people love me out here. Yeah. Any white guy that seems like he's white and he's not, because your look yeah. says that you don't really understand what you're risking with white privilege. Yeah. Because you, know I mean? you have that samurai hair, you have that long mustache, and you wear the same Trader Joe's worker outfit all the fucking time. That's right. right? And you speak, you just say what you want. Trader, you Trader Joe teeth. Gorman. Mm-hmm. You have those big, huge, fucking those sunny goods. bono teeth and shit running around. Yeah. And you just say what you want. It's it that you you aren't you you really have to get out of jail free card, because you're like you you're like you're like East Coast Simon Gibson, <laughs> like you know what I'm saying? A little it, bit, right? As long yeah. as Joe can control his violent carnal desires, his biological what? desires, <laughs> <laughs> of being a sex maniac, yeah, a horny dude. I, mean, you I feel like horny. you're post horny now, though. Really? No, I'm still horny. <laughs> yeah, I'm right. in the you're the But are you like are you <laughs> camming with girls and shit? Yeah. I am. You yeah. have the, but that's still hot though. You know, it's all mean? right. It's like it's like Joe's I, back in the hentai. It's like getting them to like uh, they're like. I'm serious. <laughs> oh shit! Are you, bro? I watch hentai. I watch a lot of porn, but and I like, watch trans porn. Wait, 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 I fuck with you on this. Hell yeah, dude. On a certain level. <laughs> yeah. But but I need to because you're the you're all of you guys are super interesting. But you've been saying things that when I go back home and I think about it, you've released some shit about yourself that you seem really regretful. That lets me know you're the funniest of all three of these people. <laughs> because you are super regretful about everything that comes out of your mouth. Yes. But you have this need to want to be liked. Mm-hmm. So you like so do you jerk it to uh to to train, which I wouldn't judge you. I'm a, on the show, I won't judge you. I've I might have pleasured myself to some <laughs> clips. 
Do you like skinny? Do you like them to look like real women, or do you like them to look like kind of dudes? I like them to pass as women. I like it when a big titted woman has a really big dick. And then she's fucking either a woman with a vagina or another big titted woman with a big dick. Joe hates this for so, forty dollars. Joe hates it so much. If, if they reach a goal of ten thousand dollars, I think that's so fucking gross. A woman with a <laughs> that's, that's so fucking gross. Dude. <laughs> I have to pretend that it doesn't sicken me to my core, but that seems so fucking gross, and I hate it. I hate it so fucking much, and I wish I could report it, but I can't. I have to say it's fucking beautiful, but it's not. I think it's stomach churning, and like I can't say that, and like it's like kink shaming. You know what stomach people churning? are slut shaming me for not being attracted to that. In you a know way. what's literally stomach churning? What? Getting fucked in your ass. I bet, folks. <laughs> <laughs> All right, everybody. Good that's night. been the. Uh... <laughs> so what? What would you like to know about trans pornography, <laughs> bro? What's your? What's the last one you jerked it to? Uh, it was. I think it was Chanel Santini. Okay. And Aubrey Kate sodomizing each other. I love that you're like Tranipedia. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. <laughs> Tranipedia? Wikipedia? Like, no, so, okay, sh- so Santipedi and what? Are, what are the it? human Chan- Santipedi. Chanel Santini. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. Aubrey Kate. These are two yeah. beautiful trans porn stars. Yeah. With lovely penises. Big ones? Are they big pen big penises, yes. This is this is why people moved to New York. This is good. Yeah, dude. Is it? <laughs> I think so. <laughs> I, I've never moved I, you know, I moved to LA. If I move out here, I just starting to look in the mind of people that move to like places like like New York or like but people I see that move to New York, I sometimes wonder like, is it so they can really just perv and skis out? Absolutely. Yeah. yeah that's probably yeah. part and, of and, it. But it seems like there's this sect of like Angry white guy comments that like trans hookers and all that. Yeah, because they're on, they're addicted to porn and they hate their. Parents. I honestly don't know because that is a big ass yes. <laughs> that is a yes on yes, dude. That's like redneck voting for Trump. Yes, you mm-hmm. know, and there's nothing wrong with that, bro. He's right. an undecided blower. <laughs> <laughs> that was good. Thanks, That's man. Look at you. Man. Thanks, That's, buddy. Yeah, <laughs> this, is, this is a good deal, yeah, man. Y'all yeah, there's so there's shit. rarely podcasts where all the hosts are funny. It's like none of them. <laughs> <laughs> I know, dude. We're back. We found. We I mean, we just you know, three young bucks came together and said, "We will make America great." <laughs> 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 all right, we are at two hours. Uh, uh, yeah, let, let's bring I mean, this we, in. We gotta go. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm just getting hungry. I'm hungry and horny. I'm horny too. All right, I'm going to get my special. That's another thing you should know about us, Kasim. We are very horny. All right. uh, Kasim, <laughs> thank you so much for being here. <laughs> right. Oh, but can we do the whole social media? Blah, blah, of course. Blah, blah, blah. Of course, yeah. That's what I was about Where to can we into. find you? Uh, find me on all social media, Kasim Bentley. K-A-S-E-E-M-B-E-N-T-L-E-Y. Uh, find my podcast, White Slavery, on all, <laughs> <laughs> all streaming networks. Uh, I have a new comedy, a new magazine coming out in the in the first quarter called Pageant. It's the uh, not the first, but I think one of the best magazines about comedy that'll come out. Uh, it's it's and uh, get my album Lakeview. It is on vinyl now. I uh, just released three weeks ago. And other than that, uh, just find me on the web. Yeah. Hell yeah, dude. Awesome. Thanks so Fuck much. Yeah. That was great. And follow yeah. us at Loud Boys Pod on Instagram and Twitter and. Uh, uh, at loudboyspod at gmail.com. Oh, and also look at my new fun. Uh, I did my new cause, Refund the Cops. All right. So, oh, see, I thought that was going to hit. <laughs> refund the we cops. Oh, re- oh, we, oh, I get it. We <laughs> fund the police. The police. Damn, God. <laughs> Damn. That's been hitting a lot of the end of the podcast, but. No, that is that, funny. No, 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 no. no just, like, just, just still I thought you said reef on the cops. No, so I was like, is this some new cops. slang? Yeah, <laughs> refund. No, was, you know, you tried. No, because you're great. I love you. You're really, really, really going to get arrested for something. <laughs> I, I thought he was about to say get a manager. You're about to blow up. Oh, no. He's going to blow something. Yeah. Right? A mm-hmm. trans hooker. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right. Yeah. All right. Bye, guys. Good night. <laughs>